Moving on to the actual thing, <clears throat> which is a tea, which is tea time. Okay, we did have we have we've got a festival. Okay, festival of the four winds. Festival Things have happened, and you know what? Yeah. The reason why I brought Sam on here, well, a big component of that is Sam. This shit is a fucking scam, and tell me, just just tell us a little bit about that. It's a goddamn scam. I've wasted all my gold. I got nothing. I, I opened I so many boxes. No chuck egg sack. I bought 400 black line keys. No chuck egg sack. What? Based, now, fused weapon skins are just crashed. It's obliterated. Glyphs are obliterated. Everything's obliterated. Arena Nets played 40 chess and just ruined all my gold. What's up with that? Well, if How we, much gold if, do you have left? <laughs> I have a mere one and a half K. I have enough. Really? I thought you were like minted. Are you lying to me? Uh, well, I mean, I have a bunch of other stuff. I have loads of other money uh, in, in, in other things as well, but, you know, I add on other accounts as well. But anyway. It's, it's all in offshore. Yeah. All in yeah, offshore accounts, offshore. yeah. <laughs> Untaxable, untraceable. Okay. It's on Claw Island or Oh, something. yeah. Oh, nice. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah. Nice one, Yeah, so if, if we were to look at the Festival of the Four Wind, yes, it's a major scam on quite a few levels. But first, if you want to talk about just the Black Lion chest and the Zephyr chest, like... It played exactly the role that Arnelet wanted, at least the one from the Zephyrid vendor, the trader guys, because they just wanted to take materials out of the economy. They wanted an instant solution to a rampant problem that we had since the economists left Arnelet, John Smith. And obviously, instead of thinking of a long-term solution of reducing the faucets or of like adding new recipes or ways to use the materials, they just decided we're going to put the trader we're gonna we're gonna change the rate at which he exchanges stuff, and we're gonna put some big boy shining auras right into the chest because everyone's gonna want them, right? Because <clears throat> buying a check X like on the TP for 10k gold, <coughs> not for me. Buying mm. a check X like on Gilors to exchange for 20k gold, <laughs> man, I don't have that money, right? <laughs> but but you know, like gambling my shitty materials for a check X like, yeah, I'm all about that, you know. And it had the impact <laughs> that they wanted. Like, you saw the price of ectoplasms that doubled. It worked. Like, the short-term solution worked, which means also that right at the end of the festival, it's going to crash again, because mm. we're still going to get many ectos, and we're going to have no way to spend them. So that's the first issue. And then the Black Lion chest itself, and that's a fucking joke. And that also got me, and I'm very fucking mad. Oh, it's wow. It thinking, hey, hey, Lance, like, we, we made this, uh, this big boy thing to fix the, the economy short-term for the next two weeks. Uh, I have an even better idea. Guys, let's make them spend money. Outfits? <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Weapon skins? Nah, we don't have time no. to design this. Guys, guys, but we could, we could do like uh, saves and bundles and tools that were... Nah, they already have some. They won't buy them again. Put all your Raz into In the Black, black Lion Lion chest. Kit. Yeah. There you, go. <laughs> there you go. Master plan. You're now the boss. Michael, out the window. <laughs> but... <laughs> Man, jokes aside, that, that was a good plan. That's what that's how you make people spend money. Because they won the shinies. That's what Gears 2 is all about. So people like you and me <laughs> bought back in keys. I got destroyed. I just sold my <laughs> and made like pounds of gold. That's all I did. I just I made loads of money. I didn't buy anything. I was like, I'm just wow. gonna sell it. I just I literally just sold my ectos for like what I think as soon as it went live, it was like 30 silver each or something around there. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but I just did that and made money and I didn't buy nothing. Well played, nothing. man. Yeah. Well played. I just like other people off. were uh, less lucky in their endeavors, you know? Like I saw the shinies, I took the credit card out. <laughs> the oh, you took the credit the card. You, you use some actual money. Nah, oh, I actually didn't. In, so in the end, fine. we're yeah. Oh, in the end, we're funding the for the expansion anyway. So exactly, yeah. I'm, I'm for that. I mean, like, uh, yeah, go. That. I'm, I'm paying for your server fast. time, Planex. Well, <laughs> I kind of paying already. Uh, <laughs> the different prices, my own free time, and yeah. yeah, sometimes I kind of buy some gyms as well, but they're mainly instantly converted to gold, so I can ecto gamble because I'm, you no, know, oh I can't help God. myself. Why would you do that? You pay well, to ecto. You pay to ecto gamble. What? What do you think? It was man, three times might, only. All right. You might as well go to the casino with that money. You know, like yeah, yeah, more chances well, of getting something valuable. I I tried that. I lost everything. So no, I, I would rather do ecto gamble. Lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I shall well, not mention it. Uh, the ecto gamble actually worked. Uh, three days ago, I actually won like one and a half thousand. Wait, uh, what really? the fuck? Oh, yeah, I like never would. <laughs> no. Ectos. 
<laughs> and I was so happy. Oh my god! How much do you like, have left? When, after uh, <laughs> well, I bought. Well, I rebought the gems so I could black line chest keys. <laughs> um, <So. laughs> I see what I see Why? where you went wrong there. Well, I, um, I tried fifty chests; it didn't work. Then I just heard <laughs> Teapot yelling the fuck out that. So what did, why do you guys want these items? Either. And I was kind of happy that. So it was right. <laughs> yeah. Why do you want these items so much? Well, the black iron keys? The, well, yeah. the few skins after? were worth a lot. Getting one few skin would basically pay the cost of like converting the gem, uh, gold to gems. I mean, Back. about the few skins, like we, we saw that there are something that traders are very interested in because if you remember, they were always very low due to the living station one box that you could get either from the gem store or from the black lion chest. So the price of the few skins was kept low because of that. And the moment they removed the Living Season 1 box from the chest and from the gem store, the price went back up to 500 to 600 gold because these skins, they're nice. They look mm. good. You can match them with a lot of stuff because yeah. flames and metal, easy. Right? Easy. Because you, like, you like fire, basically. <laughs> I like, like fire, fire, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Sam yeah, is yeah, actually man. an arsonist, apparently, so... <laughs> no, 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 no. Accor according oh, to my girlfriend, God. I struggle starting up a barbecue. Wait, uh, right. I'm not about the fire, man. So Sam try. likes fire, but can't light a barbecue. Right, got you. <laughs> go well, that's why right. he's compensating, <laughs> right? That's <laughs> why he, need, he needs to have that fire in the game. <laughs> All right, okay. but, um... comes with age, mate. Comes with age. <laughs> but, yeah. Like when, I, when I'm gonna get like the dad bod, and when I'm gonna put socks in my sandals, right? I'm yeah. gonna be able to light the fire. If, you, if you're in America, mate, socks and sandals is a thing. I don't understand it, believe. I have no <laughs> Man, idea. Man, Germans do that as well. I don't understand yeah, really? it either. Why? What is the matter with people? <laughs> this is 2018, for fuck's sake. Socks and sandals? Why are people wearing socks with sandals? That is Who a weird thing to do. Who in chat socks with sandals? That is a slightly unusual thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> just hey, you just don't need this socks. <laughs> I wear it, actually. Wait, you do a place? Wait, you do well, this? I did. So why well, is he... it was like ten years ago though? <laughs> then I actually like everyone in my school was like, "What? Why do we have black like, socks?" I right, so you know what your next emo is then, Teapot? It's Plenix, oh, sorry. Right. It's Plenix socks it's socks and sandals. Yeah, Plenix. Yeah. Plenix has a sock. Plenix has a sock. Yeah. Plenix has a sock yeah. No, no. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sock I Plenix. I can go to a dark. Yeah. I can go to sock a dark place. Yeah. Well, there's oh, nothing yeah. wrong with being a sock. I mean, come on. <laughs> but yeah, Jebro. Like, uh, apart from the few skins that were like one reason you would gamble for the chest it's just that uh, the infusions uh, that you can right. get from the black lunches they're not only very rare they're also very expensive the reason why very few are being sold on the trading post is because people are aware that you can get more gold for them on other like exchange platforms such as the gear switches reddit you can set up a a sell order over there and mm. say hey i'm selling my check x like for 18000 19000 that kind of goal, like twice what you would get on the training post. And people will actually send you legendaries for them. So, really? I saw people, I saw people paying Jesus. for, for a, a check x -like with seven legendaries. Like, hey guys, I'm going to buy this. I'm sending you a three eternities, two sunrises, and uh, two by first. That's oh, this is the check x -like with Sin, wasn't it? The, that yeah. whole yeah. thing. Yeah, that kind of stuff, man. Oh my goodness. And then there is the Confetti <laughs> Infusion, the one that drops from the, uh, the Pinata event uh, at the Casino Blitz in uh, Crystal mm. Oasis. That one is, is worth even more because, uh, according, I think it was Chris Cleary who answered the question at some point on Twitter with uh, infographics and stuff. He said, since the release of Path of Fire, or was it? Yeah, I think since the Rise of Path of Fire, only 16 dropped? Something along these lines? Or maybe it what? was another date that the Rise of Path of Fire... Yeah, 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 yeah. 16! That kind of stuff's good, though. I like that. Man, like, the event runs every two hours. Yeah. Hundreds of people do it every two hours. Only 16. Mm. That's how since little... Since the release of Season 4, out. never mind. Wow. Since the series of Season 4. That's pretty crazy. Debunked. Still, and that's not a lot. Yeah, but, that isn't still, a lot. That's very little. Like, if you look at the amount of people who do the event compared to the number of uh, of confetti infusions that we have, that's very little. Has someone worked out that drop rate? <laughs> like, it's zero. Can, indescribably zero, low. Zero, just, yeah, zero, it's zero, just zero, no. Zero. You're not going to have it. Zero. It's Yeah, it's not for you. You're never going to have it. You're never going to get it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why it's <laughs> worth that much. Because... Nobody can have it, right? So obviously it's worth a lot. Just like right now we have this, the Hellfire Infusion got, uh, mm. got that in mind. 
right? Like we know a Hellfire infusion it's exists. It's coming. Yeah. It's obviously coming. We have a Hellfire boss in the Labyrinth in Cliffs. And the event is exactly a copy-paste of the, the Choya Piñata one. Like, it, it wasn't crazy. That's true, actually, It's yeah. literally a copy-paste. And you throw it's, water balloons on it. Yes, you throw... Oh, my God, mm. that's such improvement, man. That okay. coding must have taken five <laughs> interns for uh, ten minutes. What? <laughs> Crazy shit, right? I'm pretty sure Plenix could have done it. Wow. Complete, man. I've never heard Sam mad before. I, I could fix dungeons, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're hired. You. You're hired. You're hired. Fix dungeons. That's ambitious. Nah, it's man. ambitious. <laughs> I'm going to start with AC. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, what, that's, that's a good spirit. So you're enjoying the event then, Sam? Is that what Yeah, you're I am actually enjoying it. Yeah, I've been doing... <laughs> no, I've been doing boss blitz. I've been going for that Hellfire yeah. guy as often as I... I mean, I have a job, I have other stuff that I do on the side. Yeah. I don't have the time to get on there every two hours, but still, I've tried to do it as much as I could. Mm. The events is not, are nice, the map is nice, of course, even though we already had it before. But I'm just bummed because I'm pretty sure that at the rate at which the shit drops, we're probably not going to see it. Like, if there is any special drop mm. from the Hellfire dude, we're going to see, like, one across all servers uh, within the duration of the event or some crap. That is kind of cool, though. I, I imagine if there was one player in the entire game with this drop. That would be pretty sick, right? And you know what? The sad thing is, it probably wouldn't even get reported, right? Because like, the, the player would just be like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, well, what's this? Then imagine they, he destroys then it. Then they vendor it. Yeah. yeah, they, but, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's imagine oh, if a pure casual player never did Guild oh, Wars 2 in the first play and just gets this drop. Like, he just randomly did it. And then, like, oh, I'm not going to play the game anymore. Yeah. yeah, like I mean, I'm I'm refreshing the database to see if the item pops up, you know, because then that means it got dropped. I'm pretty hyped. It will drop right um, now. You just get in the game. Yeah. Currently, you missed it. You missed it. You missed it. Missed it. Oh, what a disaster! Yeah, it's uh, a. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, there, there is, there is some cool stuff, and yeah, the re well, the reason I got the black line keys is because I, I just saw the deal. I saw that shark X. I was like, well. I'm I'm gonna get your chalk eggs, man. Like, I've got, I got yeah. 400 of them. 400 is enough. I, went, I I did the whole thing. I went to silver waste then as well. Capped out the magic find because the ones in the black line that, chest yeah. are affected by magic find. Boom, uh -huh. and I got absolutely worthless junk. Did you get to worldly world as well? Can't number it. Is that uh, you, if you leave, if you leave Silverwaste, it removes yeah. the bus here to stay. Oh, yeah. Better to stay in Silverwaste, yeah. Silverwaste, better. Yeah. Did you get all the food and everything? Yeah, I was fully capped. I was at 900, I think I had something like 900%, something like that. Really? Yeah. I've never had that. I think and I got nothing. Feels bad, man. I got a bunch of quartz and some leather and stuff. Did you get any skins? Like, anything good? Oh, uh, the black... Yeah, I got I got a good chunk of stuff out of the black line keys, but... I got the Storm Dagger. Yeah, the Storm Dagger well. and... Yeah. Looks sweet. I got a, I got two fuse skins, I think. In two fuse skins, I have four hundred keys. Oh god, <laughs> I got I got screwed. I got no. I don't think the drop rate is actually that bad. I'm just very unlucky. Um, and I got so many cavalier skins. I got twenty cavalier skins, but they're only worth about ten gold each. So I don't think anyone really cares about that. So I mean, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I kind of think I got deleted there by the first. The festival, <laughs> the festival has wrecked me because I spent uh, on top of that. I I bought a massive amount of the normal boxes because I just wanted more um, gauntlet tickets because I kept playing right, the gauntlet right, with right. with all the gambits and every time you put a gambit on. It's one it's ticket, ticket, and you can't get it back. And the thing is, even if you win, you don't get anything. Uh, th this is the thing that yeah. annoys me about this. You get one token it, it's, if, you, th if this, you, like, oh, just God. repeat. This is so... What, what were they thinking when they designed the system? Like, if you win with all gambits, mm. you, you basically don't get anything like for, for doing it. it. It's just... Why is yeah, it this like is that? My, this is my issue with it. I, I mean, I've done out of anything. Probably done. It, it was day one. I spammed the hell out of it. I think I streamed it for like ten hours. Mm. I didn't. I didn't touch Tiro. Also, I was just trying to do different achievements. I was, like, I was trying to do them all on NG. I was like, I'm not going to do it on anything else. I was going to do it on NG. And it was like I had. I went on my main. My first ever character I made is called Jebro, and he is a mesmer. And I, my tokens were in exactly the same. They were in oh, the bag. Man. Five hundred tokens. That's still valid. there from four years ago. And I was yeah. like, holy crap. Okay, so we're getting on this. And I just started fucking around. It's, it is actually, the event is, if you haven't done it, it is really good. It yeah. is a good event. It's it's worth doing as well. And it, it can actually help 
it's it's a good little way of training actually because just dodging and stuff like that like new players and stuff i actually think it's quite a good place to go and just kind of hone your skills but i don't know i i find it, I, at least they updated it with the tier that right the new tier of the new bosses which is quite cool i think really yeah. Turiosa is probably the only difficult one i don't know did they add any new mechanics to the old bosses or anything? Or no, nope. they're just I the same. Don't remember, it's, I, it's I, the same as before. Yeah. Yeah. I did all of them like again just because of the you want that AP and yeah. their achievement yeah. points. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. HP is the is the reason to do them because they've yeah. still got yeah. the they still got the mini. old values, right? So the, you yeah. actually get you get a lot. Yeah. I was like, yeah, what? I got a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Can't yeah. you just add like I don't know yeah. fire or something to it? I don't know. <laughs> I guess they wanted the, everyone to have the opportunity to get the uh, the old stuff as well, right? So yeah, but like something additional would be cool. Like you know, I think they sometimes sometimes I forget about the. I mean, I'm just you know, I was just a bit pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, AP is cool, but can I get something else? Like, well, just some gold. I, I, I don't well, know. when you do tur- well, when you do Tarai, you will get a special title for it if you will. Yeah, the, the King Slayer. Yeah. King Slayer. So yeah, they, you're, that's a pretty cool one. Yeah. It's a pretty cool title. So they have added some new rewards, and it is really cool that they added a lot of new bosses. They finally, um, you know, they all that training, running around Lion's Arch for like four years straight, yeah. has paid off for Serial. Shame that she's well, still really, know. really easy, but still, right? It's uh, you know. Yeah. You know, it's, she's well. She's learned how to. She's the one that summons like the anything. bows of truth that immobilize you, and you have to kill them. Oh right, okay. I and never she's got, got the, the tome. Bows, she's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. she's the new special. Yeah, she's the yeah, fire. I haven't brand. done all. Yeah, I, I didn't. I don't think I got many of her mechanics because I think I just killed her. I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember. I've got the achievement. I can't remember. You're, you're too good. You killed them too fast. Yeah. No mechanics. Yeah, well, that one. Really, I that's, haven't tried that's actually an issue though. Yeah. That's an issue though. Like you can really feel the power creep because if you do the old bosses, you can re- literally delete them in a matter of seconds. Mm. There are some bosses uh, like I've done everything on a power soul beast. I haven't even seen any of the mechanics of the first few bosses. Like they don't even render sometimes because of how many people are in the arena. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and like they don't even render, that, but I? no, but I, I kill them before <laughs> they render actually on my screen. That's how bad it oh, is. Nice. Okay. Like it's not even fun. Well, you know, um, the, the fun thing I've, I noticed as well is uh, because this was four years ago, right? I mean, this mm-hmm. is like before Heart of Fawns and everything. And there's a boss, the, the Deadeye boss, right? I was just yeah. like, oh, Deadeye, Rifle, Thief. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, no, it's Maybe, in the game. Like, yeah, it's in the game. Deadeye, Deadeye is in a rod, though. They yeah, but you. this guy was cooler. They could like one shot you. <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. they were just like, okay, this is a future build. You know, yeah. from Put it in the game. Just, just put it in the game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. that's judgment yeah. let's go the the thing i really want them to do is is because and when streaming this is i don't know if you found this t-bot but my fps was ridiculous Ooh. Like it yeah was it's it's it, yeah the, the way the gauntlet check. is structured really does co- it does cause some fr- some performance problems with the game definitely okay. um it, it it's well, it's because of the way it renders everything below you as well, and there's a exactly. lot of stuff going on. It's like, oh, like a hundred people or so yeah. below you, and it's like, hi, yeah. uh, there's those people, then there's the fighting that's going on down there. I mean, I can see them now, mm. and in and, and then you've got the bosses, and then we got Liadri, which is like a lot going on the screen as well. I'm just like, yeah. okay, so I'm still fighting the boss, or am I? I don't know. Like, yeah, the boss doesn't. Render. I'm like, okay. Mm. It does but make a big like, impact here. Yeah, then it's even I, if it's just an instance of its own, like just with like the top bit, just separate something or whatever, and mm. just have just with no people in it. Yeah. I don't know, but like the, I don't yeah. mind the whole queuing up thing because it's actually I think it's actually really good that you can watch other players fight because you can you can see it. I like that. Like we actually were like kind of commentating on this mesmer from Ethereum um, EG. And it was like, you know, just suggesting things like, oh, maybe you should just use a sword so you can kite around easier. And he actually got the kill after that suggestion. So it's quite a cool little bit of, you know, content or whatever, just like community interaction, which is quite cool to see and quite cool, cool to witness. Like I just go here and I watch people failing. <laughs> it's quite funny. And, uh, just get like... your popcorn, set up your stream. Wow. Like it's, it's only just you no, watching no, no, people no, failing yeah. in comment. Oh, that guy, <laughs> he just died for the 20th time to the first ghost. <laughs> Yeah, but strange. then they can do that to me as well. So, it's, it's so yeah, they get that. They can get their revenge. You never right? entered the arena. Yeah, just don't play. Uh, only flame. <laughs> never play. Only flame. Only and, flame. Yeah, yeah. It, it that is a good. It's a good. It's a good little thing. But then again, it, it, it you know it is very much a double edged sword. Like the cute. 
I don't know, it, it does feel a bit archaic that you have to queue to play this stuff. It is, oh god, it is very annoying. I don't know, like that, that does kind of piss me off a lot. Like but... a proper festival ground, mate, you know? You've got to queue to get on the road. I mean, yeah, it's, it is annoying, though. <laughs> but then, you, have, you know, the, the, but the fact that you can see everyone going on and it's integrated into the world, that is kind of cool, right? That's, um... It's basically yeah, a double-edged sword. Like it's a say, fun yeah. feature, but it's I don't know. Screws up your FPS and then, uh, yeah. then at the same time. There, yeah, it's, it's Guild Wars 2 with performance issues. Like, who would have thought that, right? There's, I mean, who? oh my, I, I amazing. Right? Ooh. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, there's, there's no way that would ever happen, right? Like, it's, yeah, uh, no. it's all good, but I don't know. I, I do really like they added new bosses. There's a, there's five new bosses, I think, like the five new bosses. And a new Gambit as well. They added Descended, yeah. right? Which uh, I oh, believe, is that new? Oh, yeah, 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 that one's new. I believe that one just like, reduces your overall stats, right? I, I think. think. So. Right. It's I, not I very. That one. It's not very intricately descriptive. Let, let me see. Let me see what it says. Crowd favorite is the best, though. Obviously. Crowd favorite's funny. Yeah, crowd. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, please. Crowd favorite. Why? Crowd frame favorite with all the other ones though is that the real combo though, because then then the yeah, quagun then then the quagun one shots you as well. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's even better. So, yeah. Yeah. Failed yeah. <laughs> mm. I think it is stats, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I think it's supposed to imitate um, de leveling you. That's why it's called Descended, right? It's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, ah, yes, you're actually only level 75. Oh, it's just like, I need, I need gambits, so I'm just going to mm. do one. Just randomly try them all, and then you realize that you can't dodge and anything. Yeah. And oh, the no no dodging is... It's, a, it's remarkable how much you don't notice one. dodging. Yeah, because it's... Just, it's just, it's such a core part of Guild Wars 2, right? In yeah, all the yeah. time, and then when you can't do it, like, what's going on? Why can't I do? Why, why can't I dodge? What's going on? Exactly. It's, uh, it's simple. To dodge. Just take an invuln and a gap closer. Yeah, you pretty much. One invuln gap closer, boom, done. Distort, go. Yeah. Yeah, if you're a mesmo, it's fine. If you're an <laughs> Spam engine, blocks. What are you gonna do? <laughs> like, you just got a mirage, <laughs> mirage of infinite dodges, like yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, you can. <clears throat> Well, Mirage without without uh, endurance though is no good. Then no, you can't do anything. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So yeah, you got to play I'll Chrono. Talk to Mick Blank. Let's it's go. it's all about that power Chrono, dude. Like power Chrono is in, is OP. <laughs> yeah. It is OP Shield. in Queen's Gauntlet. Okay, just block everything, distort the rest of it, and then blink away yeah. from everything else. Okay, then then after the boss is ready to be killed, you one shot the boss because you have insane uh, the insane Who's, burst damage. Has anyone done it on uh, NG like in chat as well? Has anyone tried uh, Turios on NG? Turios. Uh, uh, I think yeah. NG is pretty pretty easy one to do Turios with because you can just rocket boot and um, you can do rocket boots and block with the shield as well. The tool belt. The yeah, tool belt. You can use the, the shield toolkit. and you can use the tool belt yeah. shield as well. Yeah, that I tried works. the two. I tried the shield. I did. I only did two tries to be fair, so I didn't get very far. But yeah, I'll give it a bash. I yeah, think shield is the way to go. The the best way to deal with him is. Uh, is to just oh, run, yeah. is just run away, oh, pretty much. Time. Yeah. Run away, block. <laughs> yeah. Run away, block. Mm. Oh, he's in the middle. CC done. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, once you get past the first break bar, he's he's dead, pretty much. He can't do anything okay. after that. All yeah. Right. So you just need to you just need to run away. Like, ro yeah. The, I think just having rocket rocket boots is probably enough just to to, <coughs> to wriggle away for long enough. Uh, I'll give it a bash. I'll yeah, a bash. it's easy. It's, it's easy. It's free. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not too bad on all classes. Like you just want to stack mobility. Even necro, you just take triple. Uh, you just take three blinks. You take the worm, I mean, necro, the necro portal, and spectral easy. walk. So, you, so so there's no point in trying to corrupt his boons at the beginning, then. Oh yeah, you you well, well you can still do that. You'll have scepter, so you can just you can corrupt his boons with the scepter. Yeah, scepter free. Yeah. So yeah, you you can still do that, but it's not really necessary. They don't really do anything. Like, he's gonna mess you up either way. The quickness yeah. is a bit annoying, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not really that bad. Just run away in fear like, with with no gambits on. It's not really that bad, uh, at least. Yeah. So but, yeah, it's, it's all got to do all the challenges naked at some point. Oh, now that would be annoying. Now that would be annoying. Well, you, get... you did not specify naked in game or naked in real life, so Ooh. that's Fine. easy. Thanks. We don't oh. need to know. What you're <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it depends it, how hot it is. Yeah, it's, right it's hot in here. What can I say? Yeah, whenever. <laughs> it's hot in here. Plenix is about to break the <laughs> If Plenix ever turns cam off, you know what he's doing, okay, guys? He just <laughs> removes all his clothes, okay? And then he oils up as well, so you got to yes. watch out for that. Oils. Okay? Yeah, you get... I don't need to oil. I'm already oily. Wait, wait what? Yeah. Well, now, we <laughs> now we know. Now we know. Now we know. 
Do you have any strategies for getting people to leave when they're fighting a boss you want to kill? Wait, what do you do? Okay, right, okay. This is a ref. Okay. Right, now, this is a button, right. right. Now, I feel bad about this, right? I feel a bit bad about this. What did you do? So, this person is referencing something that happened on stream when I was doing the Queen's uh -oh. Gauntlet, right? What and I was do? trying to do... I was trying to do Toriyasu with all gambits, right? And there was a guy came. Uh, well, basically, I, I was just, I wanted an arena all to myself, okay, oh, all to I'll myself, see. right? And there was this guy <laughs> just hard wiping on Liadri, but he would do it really slowly, right? Very slow. He was obviously never gonna do it, right? He probably still hasn't done it. Yeah, he was struggling a lot. Right? No, that's not in. So he's learning, right? It's not a big deal, right? That's no big deal. So I what did you do? so well, right. <laughs> This okay. is the key one. Right. <laughs> He's learning. Now, but I called him a massive blah blah blah. Okay, there might have been, it might have been a bit of brutality here, okay? So oh, I'm, God. I, I think I said something like, Yeah, um, hey dude, like do you wanna maybe, you know, leave and give me this arena? Because like you're obviously not gonna do this today. Maybe like take a break, come back tomorrow, like you're you're not even close. Uh just you, you, <laughs> 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 just get in. Uh, <laughs> like, Sorry, mate. Yeah, you know. like, yeah. <laughs> I was saying, like, this is obviously not going wow. anywhere for you, so. He could have made some yeah, content. Yeah. He could have been like, right, why don't you do this, that, the other? Why don't we get in Discord? I could help you out. Wait, wait. Oh, God, <laughs> okay, no. apparently I said, <laughs> uh, okay, no, it's even worse than I thought. I said, give oh, up. God. You're never going to get it. Right? Oh, <laughs> my God. You're such a dick, man. Like, come on. Why do you do that to your player? Like, it's been the same issue for me. I wanted to do Liadrin. There were two other people trying Liadrin. I just looked at them and I watched and I was like, hey, that's good. They're spending a lot of time in here. I'm getting my cooldowns back. It was valuable. Get my cooldowns back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh, like, man. I didn't know you were this toxic. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm unsubbing. I'm unfollowing. Well, what the fuck is that? When man? I have to wait in line, I get mad, okay? Waiting in line makes me mad and that happens, so. He puts IRL though. beating up people so he can get to the cashier first. Yeah. Those... You heard it here, guys? Oh, he's beating his viewers as well, so yeah. I don't yeah. understand. Like you're literally English. Like queuing is a thing. Queuing is a thing, but I don't like it. I don't. No, I, I don't. I don't, you know, I don't wait in line. Okay. I guess Best nowadays, I guess you don't know what it's like to really queue for things. Dude, I you need to go outside and queue for things. The only thing I've queued nice for is on. fucking World of Warcraft, dude. Okay, and that was bad enough, right? That that was. Is awful. that trying to get into the second yeah, first try, expansion? Well, yeah, that. trying to try <laughs> queuing for forever, trying to get into to, into the game, man. It was unbelievable. It was horrible. But yeah, I felt really bad. And then I then I said, oh, you know, it's, it, I, you know, I love you, dude. That sort of thing, right? But it's just it wasn't. Did anyone witness that, or was? That uh, oh yeah, that that was on stream. That was on stream. There were like, like there were nearly five hundred people there at the time, I think, oh, and they okay. all saw that. So I mean, it was. There you go. Yeah, but you know it's okay. So I, I sorted it out, right? And he was—he just said stuff like, "Oh, you know, I was having fun, but you know, I'll—I'll I'll leave you to it, man." It's like, "Oh my god, what have I done?" Oh, oh boy, he answered you so nicely. Yeah, I right. You this to him, like, man. And then you just put him down like a sick puppy. Yeah, it feels really bad. Wait, apparently it was close to seven hundred people. Okay, that's even worse then. Oh man. If, if, if that was it was free it was it was a sad it was sad right it made me sad the guy was so did you nice at least? i mean of course i did right and then and then you know i should have helped i should have just logged onto his account right and just killed liadri for him but you know but that i, I can't do that right i don't account yeah share. you can't do that man yeah he never account share. yeah that's account share i would never account share, account share. <laughs> It's guys. just always your old. No, nope, never done it. I've, I've got, it. you know, I've got a fair amount of AP on some of my alt accounts, right? I've got some, uh, yeah, I've got some alt of my alt accounts have like 10k, 20k AP, but you know, I just play a lot, right? I love achievement hunting, and I just do it all over again on multiple accounts, right? And that's, uh, I, I mean, Mike, Mike's, Mike's alt here has 31k AP on his alt account, more than his main, actually. Christ. Yeah, more than his main. Weird, huh? That's uh, it's you really. Scared soda popping away. What? Yeah. yeah. That's probably not a bad thing, you know what I'm saying? Wow! <laughs> Whoa! That, that do you want, was rough. Do you want to hey, save you Guild Wars 2? You, you remember when he came remember. Yeah? yeah? It was great. In fact, uh, Jebro, do you remember a conversation we had w at Rezzed with some of the marketing guys from ArenaNet? You mean Steve Fowler? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure. I recall the name. Steve Fowler was his name. Yeah. yeah. He works on there. He works on. And they, they they asked us for uh, for advice uh, whether we should that they should try and coax Soda to play the game again. 
Oh, Coax, oh. yeah, not just him, but like... Yeah. But all, all the like big them. streamers, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that didn't work very well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. But the problem is, is now, and I think uh, this is what's happening with lots of MMO, uh, other MMO companies as well, because I just recently got partnered with Elder Scrolls. On, um, and they were starting to realize, like, uh, game companies who are bringing out their games, that they're, they're thinking about long term. They're not thinking about, like, the big, massive guys who are just kind of streaming the game when it's hype. And they got like, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. And then, you know, after two weeks, it's down to about 50 mm. or something. If you're trying to think about those people who are, you know, going to be dedicated a little bit more, you know, on it in terms of like actually playing the game in, for the future. So actually people are starting to think differently now. They give access to those big, massive guys. But then, you know, they're starting to, you know, partner up some other people like, you know, me. Which is good, actually. Like loads of games starting to do that, which is mm. cool. I yeah. Know. But yeah, it was it was a bit of a... When he came, I remember he was in, uh, wasn't he in Queensdale? And like people were just yeah. sending him cloth and stuff. And like, yeah. it was just like filling up his mailbox with random crap and just following him around the map. Yeah. And he couldn't do anything. He couldn't kill a single mob. <laughs> it was just like. Yeah, I, I, Guild Wars 2 was uh, not, oh. uh, not, not designed to, to play exactly like that, right? It, it's, uh, it doesn't, doesn't quite work out so well. an incinerator when he was level 37, if I recall correctly. Oh. There was something along these lines. Then he couldn't even do jack shit. He was like, oh, that looks good. Oh, I can't take this shit game. <laughs> yeah, yeah he good. the game shit. That's good. <laughs> Phil's, Phil's bad, but not, not the most, not the most like, glowing review. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know, dude. I reckon Daroya should get PewDiePie on this game. You know what I'm saying, dude? Like, yeah. Yeah, they've got something yeah. going. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're lyrics, they're friends. Lyrics used to play it. Yeah. Lyrics oh, used to play it. there you go. Then. Like, have you seen his? Have you seen his overlay when he plays World of Warcraft? No, Guild what's Wars it? 2, it? Oh, yeah, it's the yeah, it's the Guild Wars, yeah, it's the Guild Wars Two mod, Guild isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It is very cool. And yeah. he was going to come back um, for Half Horns. I don't know whatever happened. I can't remember if he streamed it or not, but he was keen to come back. But mm. I think Angry Joe was going to come back for Half Horns as well because he was at the launch. It was like, yeah, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna review it. Didn't do it. It was like, I mean, it feels bad, man. But loads, you know. I mean, that's just just the way it is. Loads of other stuff coming out, I guess. Time, yeah. other things happening. Kind of stuff. Time, time, time. People man. leaving the game. Sind left yesterday. Did you hear about that? Wait. Wait. Oh damn. <laughs> what? Wait, he didn't. He, did, Warcraft now. he didn't play. <laughs> wait, are you ser wait, seriously? Yeah. He didn't play in the monthly. Um... No, he casted it. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. apparently. One of his last, like, proper Guild Wars 2 streams. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I heard, he's I heard a little bit in the future, but he's mainly going to play World of Warcraft. Huh. That's what I said. Well, how about that? That's pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I, I heard slightly differently that he would still kind of, he'd still be around and he was still going to play Guild Wars 2, but a bit Just more casually. Just hanging around, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot more casually, but not really yeah, streaming yeah. it. I mean, he hasn't really streamed it that much recently anyway. Well, But yeah, I think he'll still hang around the community and stuff. But he was, like, one of the last... EU like you know guys who were kind of playing because he was still playing quite consistently up until what the last maybe not the last UGO but maybe earlier this year mm. um I don't you know Chafe and Fanta I miss they played on NA on the in the monthly final Chafe's team beat Fanta and's team as well first round that was interesting well that was good actually NA18 was good Apart from yeah. the final, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, to, 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 to kind of move was into it, this, was right? It they, they... Zero to five hundred. Nah, it was like five hundred to one fifty in the NA finals. Okay. So like there, but I, I mean, think, yeah, yeah. It, it was similar, a very similar situation. There were some really good, close games early on in the EU finals, but the yeah. uh, in the EU monthly, but the final was just rubbish. Actually, it was, it was, it was rubbish. Who was in the, who was in, uh, the winning team? Like uh, it in. it was oh let's see so it was Frosty, uh, Misha, yeah. Controller, Birdie, and Cookie. Oh, okay, uh, so even then it was no Zan. Yeah, yeah, no Zan. Yeah, yeah. He's play. I, th I so believe. No, I believe he's playing Realm Royale a lot. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah <laughs> I think we've curved Denshi and Rom, right? <laughs> so uh, I, I saw some of their footage. They're actually pretty good at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just I don't know. It, it looked pretty disgusting, actually. Like Misha and Frosty made um, double Mirage with Portal look really repulsive. It, oh, it was, 
It was <laughs> dirty, dude. It was very dirty. Um, there were some closer games. Um, uh, so the the Abindo boys, uh, they did. They 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 had a like the the worst start ever, but they started to make a bit of a comeback, and it could have been a close yeah. game, but it didn't end that close because in the opener they just got obliterated pretty much, and then the portals just ruined them. Uh, but I don't know. Like they started to claw their way back into it, but it was way too late. And I don't know. I think they did the best. They got about. 250 points versus um right. versus i don't even know what they are like 55 hybrid thing right that was that was that worked out pretty well uh, i but don't the, follow the, those teams anymore like it's in the monthly at all i'd follow yeah. i literally show of them and i try and mm. pick a team that you know i think I've, I've got a couple of players in where i'm like okay right they might get to the final and so i followed chafe's team and they did pretty well and then they lost in the semi-final to a team of people i didn't really know much about which is very cool, and they were playing. They were playing. There was a lot of Reapers yesterday. So many Reapers on NA. My God, there was. I think there was only two people playing Scourge, and I think Naru was one of them. I was like, wow. There's just power is like in PvP right now. Mm. It's crazy. Yeah, on NA, it's crazy. You've got like Berserker Mirages and shit as well. It's hilarious. Whoa, it's actually good fun. I'm actually having a lot of fun in PvP right now. Is that actually? It's if you yeah. haven't played PvP for a while and you were sick of Scourge, go and play because there's not that many at the moment. <laughs> Mostly yeah. playing Reaper, it's great, uh, like great. Uh, uh, yeah, Scour I mean, Scourge seems it, it seems it's still very very strong. Especially what what yeah, was yeah, yeah. what was really good is I think they just they basically adjusted it so it's a lot harder to play and because you don't run the big shade you're in the little shade and they made it so that you now have three corrupt boons except to three is a corrupt boon and then you have the double cast of corrupt boon yep. so they, they just very much changed the way scourge is played so i guess that makes mm -hmm. it a little bit less face rolly so people are you know mixing it up and playing reaper a bit which is which is really great right like scourge was yeah. reaper is one of the best elite specializations i've made in my yeah opinion. Was, i love reaper it was it's pretty great. cool right I so thought I also thought the reason why there were a bit less uh, scourges in PvP was because there were less people playing a proper firebrand. Because what I saw a lot in the previous yeah. season was some good firebrand scourge duos that got quite far into games. Like mm. once they would set up on mid, you couldn't move them out. Because the, the barrier would protect the firebrand at a good moment, firebrand would like cover for yeah. the scourge. And it was quite hard to fight them. But now, like, I've seen some, some hybrid firebrands. Like, people don't want to go fully defensive. Maybe yeah, out of radiance. lack of trust. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with the Scourge that got slightly nerfed as well, you are into a situation where they can't just hold as well as before. So they're dropping mm. out the Scourge because the Scourge can't do anything on their own. It's slow and it lacks survivability. So I mean, people are using it now and stuff on yeah. Scourge often yeah more I, not I certainly because of the amount of power damage that's in the meta right now that does yeah. it does punish the um Fire the, the firebrand off. scourge it does punish <laughs> that combo uh, especially with the, the resurgence of rev like revenant is very popular right now oh, that just absolutely oh, so shits fun. on firebrand right it absolutely so destroys fun. stuff like if that you've got and, double as well in chafe's team they played double rev yeah, double it was rev. ridiculous. It yeah. was a really fun to watch. I literally go to my channel. I'm not trying to say my channel, but go to my channel, watch the VOD from NA. At the NA tournament was really good. They were like Chafe Chafe team had some fucking sick games. And they came back from like I think it was 400 to like 150 or something on Forest, and they got annihilated at the start. And they just like just the, the it, this is my favorite kind of play of the game. I like power map. Conditions are uh, conditions are cool. Like I like condition damage. It's all right, but it's not fun to watch because you just apply an ability and it just ticks. That person moves, they take damage. It's not like you know they're CC and bosh. You know they're down, they're down state, they're dead. There's no like. Do you remember like the early days, like first year, second year maybe of the game? It's like Fief Mesmer. Like you yeah. know that burst was just ah. Oh, I mean it, it was so good to watch. Like I just remember Shad and Misha early days. Um, 55 HP monks, like, was just so cool. And, like, that kind of gameplay, not that specifically specifically that, but that kind of burst is is back in PvP, and it's actually really good to watch. You know, NG, you know, they changed um, vulnerability now, so Elixir X, S, sorry, doesn't affect, doesn't wreck us as often as it did before, you know? You get Elixir S, and you still got Condies in you, and you could probably die, and that doesn't happen anymore, because you don't mm. take any damage. Um, they changed uh, Elixir U as well. You know, when you throw it now, it's not a projectile blocker. 
or destroy or reflect or anything. Um, and it just gives you shit loads of quickness. Whether or not that's a good or a bad thing is, is something else because projectiles are a thing, obviously. But it, there, were just some, there was some good stuff in the balance patch recently, which I actually really did like. There was some questionable stuff, but you know they did nerf a little bit more firebrands. I don't remember what else actually. There was some, I think there was some like mini necro buffs to like power. I don't know. There's yeah, just they, a lot they, of yeah. fun builds right now. And I think, I think there's just, I, I'm still questioning whether or not it's, there's so many like less experienced players in the game. And that's why we've got so much build variation at the moment. <laughs> or if it's just a natural thing. And I think it's, I think it's less experienced players in all honesty. But it's, it's still enjoyable. It's probably a bit of both. Um, mm. What well, one thing? I mean, I, you know, I, I would. Sorry, be... I just hijacked the conversation. Yeah, no, no, no. With, with the wrong way. No, no. I, I, I didn't want to talk about PvP as well. I was 100 percent wanted to talk about PvP as well. But when when it comes to that sort of thing, yeah, I think, yeah, the, I do like the way the balance is going. Certainly, it's a lot better. There's yeah. still some kind of I don't know. In my opinion, there is still some pretty anti-fun stuff. Like, like Connie Mirage oh, is it. is a pretty anti-fun class. Like honestly, mm -hmm. even stuff like Spellbreaker is arguably pretty anti-fun. Um, it's very yeah. obnoxious. Yeah. There's uh, too the, many. There's too many blocks. There's just too many blocks. When... Too many projectile reflection. You know, it's it, it all just the thing is when you when you pick it apart, you can you can just be like, oh, that's a block. That's a block. That's an evade. They've got mobility. They've got survival. They've got regen. And it's like while they're blocking, they can reject. It's just like you know, it's an ass to kill them. Like you have to two v one. But then, it, then it's like you know, if they're in the team fight, they're not as useful. But so it's about you know whether or not that guy is on the side cap and he's one v one And it's just like, how do you deal with that? It's just a not just don't go there ever. And then, <laughs> you and then, <laughs> Jebro, when they use rampage in a one v one. Oh God, yeah. And Jesus then. <laughs> Man, like that's the worst thing. It's like you've started you've started fighting the spellbreaker. You're in this. Okay, he blocked, he blocked. Okay, that I used an unblockable attack. Okay, I got him to 50%. Oh shit, he countered. His life is going up. Okay, now he doesn't have anything less. I can burst him and then the rampage. And you get CC'd and CC the second time. And then you get created for 5k and then you're like, fuck off. I'm, and if I'm you just survive, gonna lie it comes there. Out of rampage. Finish me now. Yeah. yeah, it is a it's bit just, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is a bit crazy. But yeah. they, but you know there are places where they're not useful. You know, I mean, yeah. it's not too bad that they are. I mean, you can. There are people like uh, Lycos, like plays NG on NA. There's there are people who can beat Warriors one v one, but majority like you know Warriors like pretty damn good. And it's yeah. like you know I think there's that like you say Spellbreaker, um, Mirage is kind of you know it's. These builds feel like low. War is a little bit more effort, but like Mirage feels like a little bit lower to me. Like I think Scourge and I'm uh, not Scourge, sorry, Mirage and Spellbreaker are the next ones to be looked at again, like further. But I've said I've basically said that Warrior is one of the biggest problems ever since everyone was talking about Scourge. I was like talking about Scourge guys, but Warrior, <laughs> really, like, like it's ridiculous and it needs to be like touched up. Not it's, in a good it's also way. <laughs> it's also very tilting when you're when you're fighting a, a spellbreaker on the side point. Like you see that they're going for your clothes or something, and then you go there, and then you call for a teammate, and then you go there with your teammate. You see that he is ready to full counter, and you're like, okay, I'm not attacking. And then your your they teammate okay. <laughs> having a lot of brain cells and huge brain power attacks. <laughs> and you're like, no. I mean that's knowledge. That's again that's knowledge of the game. Yeah, man. Much. It's just that's the problem. I mean, it, and and then again, you know, that's where the whole population and like skill level of players in the game come from the moment. Because you know, I'm not saying this to be mean. It's the truth. Like we've got the lowest skill level in PvP that I've ever seen. Um, and I've been playing since you know almost half a year into the launch and casting the game. Uh, last night I tweeted out because and and I don't like to rage. Uh, on Twitter on, on about PvP and games anymore. But literally, I was in the Plat 1 game, uh, and there were two people capping the point. Because they genuinely okay, thought it's that faster. it was... I saw that tweet. It was faster. It's faster. Yeah. It's speedy, dude. I mean, this is like... So I was like, okay, so what rank is this? this? Clearly, it's just... It's late night. You know, there's not many people on. And the guy was like, I think, 1,480. Not Even, much lower dude, than that, me. That's gold three. And I was like... Even... You don't, don't think know. like that in that's Gold good. Three. That's not that's okay. Fine. But, that's great. But like, it, but that's that. It, it doesn't necessarily mean you know he's not a good player, like skillfully at his class. 
he's just got no idea how the map works and how the actual mechanics work. Oh, and I think now, like what Bic was saying, maybe a year Ooh, or so ago, the snake is is like maybe you know they do need to start thinking about doing something else because i mean it really depends on how much guild how much longer guild wars thing goes on for it's like how can you really invest in a brand new pvp mode that's going to be like with a in a game that's you know six years old very soon i mean i i don't know i don't know but you need some kind of explanation or, or something we've always needed really like intro just intro videos to maps and stuff i mean we used to have it with i think john corpany did like um some commentary at the beginning of some videos you remember when we used to have to june wts but it wasn't massively in depth or anything it was just like this is the game mode conquest capture points la 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 it won't help people at all other than is the it, first time is it really like... so much to ask that people figure this stuff out by themselves though this is 2018, yeah, mate. <laughs> like, you're, you're supposed to realize that kind of shit, though. Like, you can't, you can't always say like a content creator should make a guide or Iron Edge should make a guide or whatever. Like, like hell, man. When when you purchase yeah. Counter Strike and you start playing Counter Strike, you you realize something. Like you, you you realize within the first ten seconds that two people can't defuse a bomb at the same time, mm -hmm. and that being next to the guy who is defusing won't make him defuse faster. Like you realize that kind of stuff. Yeah. Literally open your eyes and you see it. Oh, like cool. at some point you must you must assume that the people who play games should have minimal cognitive abilities to play games. Yeah, you see this in the boss splits, right? This as chat is pointing out, this is actually hilarious. Uh, okay, so when when we did boss splits, I, I did a few. We did a few boss splitses like randomly. Well, I, I got trapped on a map and tried to do it. And damn, if you don't have. Yeah. If you, oh my god, like people do no damage in this game. Like, what are they doing? Yeah. It's just, like, what, what kind <laughs> of gear, what that. kind of builds of people? It, it took, like, it took like 10 minutes to kill one of these. I think they're all there at the keyboard. Like, oh, wow, guys, this is so epic. Oh, this is so amazing. I said, no, this is horrible. It takes 10 minutes to kill a boss that has, like, the same HP as Veil vale Guardian. Like, what is going on, man? But it's like, well, there's 50 people there as well. And then, and then, it, like the contrast, like when we even bring salt, like salt, it's a, it's a fairly casual guild, right? And we go and do boss splits in like five minutes, like for all six of them. It's like, well, nice. I guess it's not that hard, right? It's, I guess it's free. It's like, what, what is going on here? Like, why does no one have any? <laughs> why, I mean, maybe why is, is everyone is that in new players? Is that, is that just like new players? So many new players. I think new players. I, I think maybe have always outnumbered like the more experienced players in the game. I think. It's, it's maybe it's just an, an obvious thing i don't know but it's like and you're talking about pvp as well and like making 16 people to learn but i think now i, know, I really don't want to sound like an old man right now but it's gonna happen um <laughs> it, it's just the way it is nowadays it's it's just like there is a severe lack of patience i mean you know that's how battle royale exists um but it's just like people want to they don't want to learn they want to be handheld and you know, whereas, you know, I mean, for example, Elder Scrolls Online, last night I was, I was like, wanting to get onto their world v. world and their world v. world. And, and I was like, okay, I need to know exact, I need to know the kind of builds there are. I want to do this, that, the other, and I want to learn about the mode properly. Like, I, you can kind of get it by the map, but still I want to learn. Go on YouTube, research, read articles. And I love that shit. Like, how many people are actually, like, doing that now? Mm. Like, I mean, I, maybe they don't. Like, us four probably do. A lot of your chat as well, Tipo, probably do as well. But, like, in, in the majority of people now in gaming, especially newcomers to gaming, you know, people who might be, you know, early season, whatever, they're not used to that kind of thing. You know, they haven't kind of always done that so i think games have to think about how they do these things now and you know league of legends and smite and all these other games have been doing it for years they've got in game you know in their launcher they've got videos for like you know a hero like a popular content creator will have a build or something that they've created and it'll be there as an option for new players to take and they'll be able to equip it and whatnot as well and it's just like all these kind of things maybe need to start coming into the game to just help those players because and it's it's not because I want it to. It's because it just I think now, in that t in the in the time we are in now, it just probably is needed. In all honesty, I mean, I don't know. It maybe it will help, but 
until that moment in time. Uh, I don't know. Well, I, this is an issue we've talked about before. It's, it's very difficult to make prescriptive guides like this, though, for all exactly. this sort of thing, because of how um, the game is very, it's almost player-defined, right? Like, if you make a guide, it's mm. not going to be relevant in six months, so they have to keep exactly. doing it. That's the problem. <laughs> the, especially when you release, um, you know, you, when you release new cotton new expansions and stuff like that then it gets really weird yeah. uh, then some really weird stuff starts happening so it, it's very difficult that the guild That's wars 2 it, it, it's i mean this is this is the this is the paradox of this is the guild wars 2 paradox guys it's the mm. most casual mmo but it also happens to be the most complicated mmo right so they, they've really shot themselves in the foot there uh, there's, there's <laughs> an insane amount of detail and complexity in the game systems yet it's played with people just auto attacking yeah. It's like, like almost handheld, but you know, I don't know. I actually can't think of a good way to actually explain what I was going to say. But like, you are really, really handheld in some places, like MMO wise, generally. But then, like you say, you know, it becomes a really intricate game at a higher level. Like, there's such, and it's always been that way in PvP, actually, as well, when you had like, you know, TCG and whoever or Angel Logo at the top. And then you've got the next, you've got the medium tier. Medium tier and low tier is here, and then high top tier is out the screen. You know, there's no way you're going to even get close to that tier. And we're starting, this is where we're starting. This is no discredit to PvPers at all. We're seeing a lot of those kind of medium tier players who used to play at the same time. Now they're the top tier of the players in Guild Wars 2 in PvP, but there's still that massive gap. And it's just like, they've just been upgraded. And it's like, I would love to see. And that's why um, a tournaments are really, really nice to watch until you get to the grand final. Because again, you know, there's only that's how small small the population is as well. You've got these five guys who are playing together for ages versus like the mid to low tier players. And it's just like I always I always get really sad when I get to the final. I'm just like, oh no, this is so bad. <laughs> this yeah. game is so yeah. awful. And this kind of well, mm. I don't know. This does is this like this is a concern for me. Um, I suppose it's not really that relevant. Uh, but it's a little sad to see the the top end, like the the more uh, hardcore scene, kind of bleeding out. I see this in all the game modes right now. It kind you of mean feels raiding as well. Yeah, it, raiding. Um, I would say high end PvP. World versus world is kind of a bit sleepy right now because there's a lot of people on break right now. But I imagine there's Summer, something similar right? happening. Yeah, I imagine it's similar there. It's just uh, there's nothing to really hold people. The hardcore players in the game right now, unfortunately, yeah. uh, and that that makes me sad. Actually, it makes me sad. I've well, lost. A, I, mean, yeah. I mean, it's the same with it's the same with me. You know, I mean, I'm, mm. I mean, I I don't. I I just want to play other games as well. At the end of the day, I've been playing Guild Wars two for a long time, and, and you guys know that I I don't stream Guild Wars two as much as I used to at all. Mm. But you know, I just want to experience other things, other MMOs, see what they're doing. Um, I'm a massive MMO player, obviously as well, but. But you're right. I mean, it's it's for me. It was always PvP, and it's you know some little maps. It's small. It's small. It's not. It's a tiny amount of content. In all honesty, and it's kept me for so long. And actually, the the content I'm enjoying the most at the moment is raiding, um, yeah. in the game. Like for sure, it's it's been the most enjoyable content. I'm playing PvP a lot offline. I don't like the reason I don't stream it as much anymore is because I just rage. I get really angry, really fucking angry, and I become some person I don't even know. Like my wife, like she says, you're playing Guild Wars 2 again. <laughs> I'm just like, oh God, <laughs> I've turned into that person. And I'm just like, I can't, like, I don't want my viewers to see me rage like that because, you know, that's not the, really the way I am as a person. Like I've just become really horrible. And I'm just <laughs> like, what the fuck is this guy doing right now? He's on the cap with me just standing here. And it's like, and I will just rage for full 10 minutes. And I'm just like, that's... Why am I doing this to myself? Yeah, and it, and you know, and, th and then I try and think, okay, try and approach it differently, try and teach people, try and explain. But the people who are in Twitch watching already know; they already know how to do this stuff. So it's like, and some people ask questions, but those people who are playing the game, they're not in Twitch; they're not trying to find out and research how to get better. They're just there playing because it's just whatever. So I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it is difficult. And I heard loads of rumors about different leaving the game, like raiding wise. Um, is it is Snow Crow still around? Are they still here? Yeah, they're still around. I mean, they're, yeah. they're, they're the stickiest. Yeah. They're the stickiest guild, uh, maybe stickiest. maybe in the entire game, actually. They are. You won't get rid of SC, I don't think. But... Have you had many people, like, do you notice? Because your guild is obviously probably one of the more prevalent, like, communities, I suppose, 
guild wise in the game have you noticed a lot of people on your guild specifically have left the game or yeah yeah you see a lot less people um who play with salt who who raid uh, regularly with salt even even some of the more the players i'd consider to be more veteran are just not playing right now you know uh because, is there a reason what do they say is the reason for that uh they they're tired of not having a new raid pretty much i i guess is the is the the way it's put and and the thing is a lot of them are kind of banking on the new fractal like for, for it to have a hard mode for it to have a challenge mode but that didn't really happen and so there's there is very limited stuff to do unfortunately if you're a um if you're a, if you're a hardcore raider or or a hardcore anything i really i would imagine yeah. uh you know, uh, you know alliances for the world versus world brigade right um you know it's it's gonna oh, be, be a little cool. while that will be cool but you know again people are waiting and that's that's a bit sad um there's right. no info about it no updates <laughs> Uh, not not well, just yet. Well, we there know was an update, but not like any release date or that something. Like, yeah, just yeah, expect yeah. it in the future, TM. I mean, it's good that they announce these things. I f I think there's really I mean, and I remember pre Heart of Thorns how they did this. I really enjoyed the amount of content they did show, like that was just it almost in development almost as well. You know, I mean, and stuff that even closer to launch, it was just like you know this is gliding, this is this that the other. I mean, I still remember in my head the promotion they did for, um, you know, gliding in Corteria, you know, like that was so hype. That was so good. Like they just didn't they just release like a tiny video or a picture after a guild chat. And it was just like, you know, this is coming. And it was like a couple of weeks or a month later. Um, they just don't do anything like that anymore. And it's, it's really good. Like, do you remember at pre Heart of Fawns, we could play, I think the teapot, you might have been, Sam might have been in there. Um, when we could play, record and actually stream the um the new specializations the new yeah. specializations and there yeah, was tons remember, of people doing it i remember yeah watching that like i that was when so we could weird. play the beta yeah the beta yeah. i also like, trying the out beta. the beta like that was one of the most hype moments in the game because they yeah. they announced hey you're going to be able to play the beta hey to enter the beta you need to get this very rare drop oh. item from the silver waste and then yeah. people went into the silver waste they were into yeah. the map they were playing it actively really good. they wanted to get in there yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it gave life to a specific part of the mm. game for I think it was like two weeks notice that we had to yeah. farm that stuff. I got yeah. stupidly lucky and it, it dropped from a trash mob outside a keep when I was just doing a daily. So Yeah. I mean it, it's all about those it's not even just about giving content really. I mean if I think nowadays as and again I'll go back to nowadays, like content just needs it, it doesn't necessarily have to be something in game. It can just it's like created and it's brand new some kind of event some kind of you know like you have the world v world event i mean i'm going to use examples of other games that are doing this at the moment um i'm i'm, I'm not going to compare it to elder scrolls because at the moment i've got elder scrolls and guild wars 2 like right next to each other funnily enough ben has worked on both of these games <laughs> um but... whoa <laughs> exposed oh no did you he works on so many mmos man exposed tell warhammer online he he knows it all um and he's created some awesome stuff and there's some events like in at the moment there's a massive world v world their world v world event going on where you can basically get like double the currency triple the currency of the stuff um that you can get to use for like you know purchasing different items you can get different skins motif skin motifs loads of stuff and there are queues of hundreds of people trying to get into this stuff. And it, I've never seen this many people in this, uh, in this event. And it's like going on for a week, two weeks. And it's just like they've always got some kind of event popping off, you know, where you can just get some cool shit. And it's just like, okay, that's enough to just kind of keep people coming back. And it's not even free to pay for, it's not even um, free to play. And it's like there's other MMOs doing it as well. I, I don't know about World of Warcraft. I'm not sure how frequent world of warcraft are with their kind of events and everything else but world of warcraft is its own beast isn't it it's not even i don't even include it with the kind of lower level of mmos i guess i don't know but they've got an expansion coming up now as well so what's that going to do to population levels <laughs> i mean jesus christ well it might bring it back or, or maybe maybe it'll be a clown fiesta you never know right like it will yeah. i don't know it looks pretty good a lot of people i know have been in alpha and beta for a long time saying this is one of the best expansions they've ever done 
Yeah, uh, it's it is true though. Like having having kind of events to kind of rehype stuff going on is is very effective. Uh, and mm. to be fair, right, that's why I think Festival of the Four Winds is really good. And in fact, yeah, on a on a, on a previous tea time, I said that the, yeah, the, the, this sort of thing is really amazing, uh, especially mm. if if they can do it at relatively low. I don't know. I guess they had to fix some stuff, but this was kind of all, this already existed, right? This, they just they put had to this remove back. stuff, didn't they? They removed the ship at the top of the yeah. bazaar and that stuff, and then oh. they had to. They the thing is, a lot of the stuff's been trivialized now, like the crystal gathering and stuff. Do you remember, like, we, we didn't have mounts and gliders back in the yeah, day? Yeah, mounts and gliders makes it a bit, a bit <laughs> easy, a little maybe a little bit too easy. Uh, and yeah. You can get fifty two in like you know not that long, but I mean, I still need to find one more. I'm not using the guide and um you know you had to jump like i i remember now like every single time we came up to you know one of these little bamboo sticks that's popping out the side of a building that's really really high and you had to use that lightning jump and the other ones and you're like i remember doing this for so long man and it just like it's, this pained me and it's just trivial trivialized by the griffin and like yeah. and then people were saying you know core players can then re-experience it um you know in in that way uh, and then they can buy the elite specializations and everything else. But what was really that took such a long time for a lot of players to complete were those kinds of things. You know, I'm talking about general players, not like awesome jumping. Um, was that kind of stuff? So I mean, I mean, how long does it last for? I'm not. I'm not trying to slate the event because I think the event's great. I like the event. Um, but how long can it? Will it actually last for? Are you guys playing the event still? Are you enjoying it? Um, you, is it I'm well, I, I, I don't know. I think a lot of I think a lot of people do actually play it for the for the full mm. duration. I would say even actually, right. uh, play, players like us might like burn through it a little bit quicker. I don't know. I'm pretty. I kind of did all of it in one go, like in one stream. I, I don't really care yeah. too much for achievements, so I'm not going to run around like I, I don't know. To me, guys, I'm sorry, I but early you said you're an achievement hunter. No, 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 <laughs> that. That that was a joke to cover up the fact that I play on other accounts sometimes. Oh, that was a uh, joke. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't get that. Maybe I've been American. I thought you were being deadly serious, man. I'm not gonna joke. I thought you were serious. <laughs> no, no, I, no. I, achievements really, I, I don't really care that much. I, going around like interacting with thirty flyers around the map. That is not fun to me. Uh, in fact, I would yeah. I would rather just uninstall the game than do that. Actually, uh, that is it's, well, especially oh, Lord, uninstall the game. Wow. Especially if you get nothing for it as well. And one of the big problems with, with some things that happens like Festival of the Four Winds it, posters. Uh, I'd rather uninstall it, the game. <laughs> <laughs> put that on an ad, oh, dude. Please. Yeah, there you go. Put there's a there, yeah. ah, <laughs> you know, there, there's a there's a proper little little uh, banner ad for you. But it's um, it, 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 I don't know. It as chat is pointing out, this is one of the core problems. Is you get fuck all for doing this stuff, right? Uh, you'll get AP, yeah. but yeah, that's it. it. Is, it uh, you, you get. It, where, I mean, where's the cool skin? Like, where's the cool anything, right? You don't because you don't get anything. Uh, you know where the cool skin is? It's in the fucking gem store. That's yeah. where it is, dude. You know what I mean? As I, it's. I don't know. Uh, yeah. And that yeah. goes back to an old old thing that you guys have probably talked about nearly every week or every month or whatever. You know about the skins not being in the game, being in the gem store. Then that comes I mean, a lot gotta, to do. It's because it's free. The game's free. To yeah, but you you gotta say free. though that the festival did bring like quite a bit of skins, for the people who didn't have them before. Like you have access to the catcher skins. Like we have the new glove skins with the Mystic Forge recipe. We have the new catcher skins. Like there is some stuff for a three weeks festival. You can acquire all of them for normal gameplay. And even if you don't like acquire them through normal gameplay, like if you miss a daily in the pavilion or something, you can just buy the favors on the training post. You can mm -hmm. always find a way to get the skins. Yeah, that's good. So some of the skins are good. I like the combat tonic. I'll probably go for the combat tonic. To be fair, there's a bunch of, that you can, you can. The watchwork one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like those. Yeah, I, I like really com have it. combat tonic. Is pretty from good. The last so. time. Like it was one of the. Oh, no, it's a different. There's a new one. It's a new one. one. Yeah. It's the new yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, a yeah. golden one. Yeah. Because like I had my watchword tonic that changed to the new icon. I was like, okay, yeah, then, then and, I'm and good. I have it. One extra new Ooh, one. That, I didn't to... see that one. Huh? I have to go. With the, but the new weapons, though, right? They've got what, like the great sword, the staff, and a few others. They're uh, just yeah, literally well, more gold, right? Yeah, but then we also have the Zephyr. 
that uh, come in the box that you yeah. get for doing the dailies. Probably there is also that. that. Yeah, like I mean, there is quite a bit of stuff. It's yeah. just yeah. a matter of actually bothered doing it. Mm. Yeah. Like, what are you, are you play? Is the content for you to really farm for it? But I guess that's you know MMOs really everywhere. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just. <laughs> You don't necessarily have you have fun in just because you uh, want the end thing. I guess I'm just a little yeah. spoiled. Like when it comes to weapon skins, I just I don't know. I look at it. I look at the skin. Right here's the skin. Here's the skin. Right, and then <laughs> I look. Skin, then You've I look. that skin for a while, mate. Yeah, I'm honestly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I look. I look at the skin. And go, oh, okay, right. Well, this is pretty good. But then I look at the legendary weapon, and I think, why the mm. fuck would I ever go for this? I don't want this yeah. piece of shit. This is trash. It's the in between thing, though, right? right I guess. But then, or but then you already got the legendary. Even even Keep fuse it. weapons, even even the fuse weapons I get, you get from the black clan chest. I look at that and go, yeah. incinerator, <laughs> fuse skin, incinerator. It's like it's all trash. It's all trash. But but cheaper. That's that's where the thing is. You won't you won't have always a legendary of the right thing. Do we have a fiery axe? Legendary. No, we don't. So it's true. Decks, it is. That's true. There you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Do we have a flaming great sword, maybe in the next living story patch. But until then, fuse great sword. Mm. Yeah, that would be cool if you could actually like. You know when you said fused, but like if you could actually just mix up the the different weapons. Like we do have Vulcanus though. We do have swords. we do have Vulcanus, Sam. That yeah, Vulcanus yeah, is pretty that's good. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that's bad. about the same price. Like making a Vulcanus. Same price as getting the the fuse yeah. great sword. So I saw that. I saw the, the le- I saw the legendary warhorn for the first time in the game the other day. Yeah, it's yesterday, amazing. It's yesterday during amazing. PvP, were you excited? A massive norn. I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> I need it. It's just just ginormous. Like yeah. this guy was the fattest norn. I big swear. norn. And big he norn. Was a big boys. norn. He hates fat. And it was just like. This Warhorn was just majestic. It was like, you know, it was curling around. It just looks so good. I was like, okay, I started to play Druid now. I heal in raids. That's what I do. And I play Reaper. Ooh. So I'm like, okay, I might actually go for that. That's not too bad. Yeah, not I got it for these two characters. It's fucking good. You've got, you got it. it was it's, So with that legendary, it's just like the old classic way of getting it, right? I mean, I'm a bit clueless on that kind of thing at the moment, to be fair. But I need, I kind of do want to get that. There's, but you're right, you know, I'm kind of looking, I'm in the, I'm in the game because I like, whenever we're talking about something, I like to actually know like what I'm talking about sometimes just because I'm old and I forget stuff. But there's a lot of people here. There's, there's Mario apparently, it's weirdly cos being cos. Yeah, I, there's a lot of people. I, th- this, it does bring people back to the game, this sort of thing, right? There's a lot of people mm. in the game right now. Um, and that's, that's obviously a really great thing. And, and, you know, to kind of wrap up what you were saying about events, I think that having this sort of thing is really essential to keeping Guild Wars 2 alive with the way that the um with the way the content is with the with the play basis right like having any variety oh yeah any variety like mix up there's a lot of great festivals like halloween is a cool festival winter's day is a cool festival this is now going to be here as well um i would imagine that that they are looking at bringing back all the festival the old ones as well so like dragon bash although i don't know oh. i don't i don't why do people like dragon bash so much again i don't really get it actually it, it's is that the there's the one with the pvp thing where you jump on Vents and stuff. No, that's that the that's the strange. dragon that's the dragon festival, right? That's the yeah. New Year thingy. That's the New Year one. Okay, right. But yeah, people dragon are really are like, oh, Dragon Bash. Oh, yeah, we love it, but I don't really get it. Honestly, it doesn't make any like, sense. Dragon Bash, know. Dragon Bash was nice because it was another festival. Like it was something we had in between. It was more yeah. stuff okay. to to chew on while waiting for other content. Uh, it also had its own set of rewards. You had the Dragon Jade skins that were made available again. You had some cheaper food than during other events. Mm. The, there were some reasons to have a Dragon Bash. But then again, like we, we should have been having a Dragon Bash after each time we, we kill a dragon. Like technically that's the that's the idea. But, like we're we're another dragon down, but how are we how are they gonna bring it back? Like they, there is no it's not seasonal enough. And like the other festivals that you can bring back because they have a specific moment of the year that's dedicated to them. Yeah. But they don't always bring them back, do they? Like, you know, like, I mean, has SAP come back every single year? Yeah, that, has it? No. The last two, it did. I mean, they're bringing so it back now. Sure, it, that, yeah. is easy, that is easy player base. Because it, it, yeah. in, in my opinion, right, guys, now this is controversial, right? This is going to be controversial. Uh oh. Careful. Right, I'm going to. Hold on to your pants. Right. SAB <laughs> is. 
is literally the most overhyped thing in Guild Wars 2 by far. Uh, yeah. Of course. It's, guys, it's, it's not that hardly ever good. Happened before. I, I, <laughs> That's why. It, it, it's, it, it's, I, I don't know why, but people are like, hee hee, it's so funny. It's such a funny meme. And like, no, it's not that funny. I, I don't know why people are jerking off so much. Like, yeah, like, SAB is, is fun, right? But it's, it's like, ha ha, it's so funny. Ah, Arena is so funny with this 8 bit <laughs> meme. Aren't they so hip and cool with that funny Ritlock trailer that's slightly cringe? Like, I guys, mean, that is are you kidding trailer. me? I mean, no, is that... <laughs> I like that trailer. That is one of my follower highlights. Don't, don't insult that trailer. I, I don't know. That trailer is good, though, yeah. It reminds me of the meme potential of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a good I... meme, right? It's a good meme, uh, and SAB is fun, it is but it, it's a little overhyped in my opinion. Like, but the, 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 just upset so can... many people. Yeah, in the chat. Ah, <laughs> get wrecked, okay? But I mean, that hey, you can you, you can re you can rely on so <laughs> you can rely on that kind of um, enthusiasm in the community to bring people he back, right? He, he, he he's not even a, he wasn't oh, even no, a sub. No, he can't unsub. He's not a sub. I like sub guys. All right. I do as well. Just say <laughs> No, I know what you mean though. I know what you mean. I the the thing I get hyped up about Sab is uh, skins because I like that, you know, whole futuristic kind of old school, just like I don't know. I like the hollow skins, I like all those skins, I think they're great. I've got them on all, all my characters. I don't know, it's like it's because it wasn't around that much and it just was this kind of rare and then they just kind of run it. Like every year, I guess, but they do need like I think they just need an an event a month at least that runs for two weeks, and then you've got two week gap, and the game becomes like just regular game again. What what we should have is okay. the same page that we had when we had season one. Living story season one was good. I, I can't remember. You have, uh, every two, two weeks. weeks every it two was, weeks. Yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> I like that. I, mean, I like it, that. Just like, they couldn't, I, they couldn't I, do it. They just couldn't meant, do it. They yeah, they just couldn't it. maintain yeah. it. But yeah, of, of course, course but like, but... it was super good. Like, you had the time to try out the content, to hunt mm. for the achievements. You'd miss one or two. You you wouldn't be able to finish all of them if you had like if you were studying hardcore, or having a job or something. But still, you'd know. Okay, then we get a little break. I can go to my dungeons. I can to my other content and then ah oh, new content dropping in yeah and each time a bit tied to the previous one each time with rewards that were built on the same way achievements built on the same way so that you could get ready a bit beforehand you you'd had your fun there were different kind of activities it was good like i was active into the game at that time i would log in just to do these to do the events that we had and not simply to do my weekly content that I want to have cleared before Sunday evening. Yeah. Which is what I do at the moment. The only things I look out for is doing all of my raid and not dropping with uh, like um, decay in PvP. That's literally mm. right. And some Vorvis is worse sometimes. Yeah, well, if was the thing that I don't touch that much at all. Yeah. It bores me. Like an evening here and there is kind of just follow the commander, you joker. Discord. It's pretty nice. And that is good to get in in like Discord or Teamspeak, as some people still use for some reason. Um, I think it's security reasons, isn't it? I'm like betting people. Um, we I don't know. I think no World spies. V World needs. No it's spies. just like yeah, no spies. Um, World v World is just. I, I still miss the first year of World v World. Year and a half. It's like the best. World oh, World that yeah, was there. Oh, that's popular. That's popular population, right? Like, uh, world yeah, vs. World to, to truly restore the World vs. World scene to its former glory, you need a massive resurgence of population. And this, I don't know, right, guys? Okay, I'm just gonna say it. This is why it is so important that alliances go well. This is the chance to resurrect World vs. World, maybe ish. Uh, it, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to be too cynical about it, but um, it can you get be. all those guilds coming back. I mean, okay, you you're gonna have a lot of remember. people coming back. Okay, everyone's gonna come back. It's gonna be great, but they, it has to not suck so people actually stay. Uh, but like, I, every single time, like, and I always think about this, and it's always like whenever I think about World of the World, the, main, the the guild I always think about Redguard, and like how they toured like NA and EU. All their players, they were, I think they paid to go to different servers to be like mercenaries or to be like kind of just get the challenge to try and fight the other guilds and stuff. Like they, those kinds of stories aren't around anymore as far as I know. You need, a, you need really a, in depth. 
you need a very specific that. type of player to to work out there and and yeah, the yeah, game yeah. is not aimed at that type of player right not and, now no it um, was what um there was some pretty hardcore people playing. Yeah, there was some hardcore people, but then uh, then they realized, then they kind of re they looked around and realized where they were, and they said, like, "Oh, okay. what they were doing." Well, <laughs> well, they can't get much for it, and it's the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, but the thing is, I think it was all about a lot of it. You know, I mean, I don't want to. You know, this has been talked about so many times, but you know, back it's all about that server pride, basically, back in the day, and it was so it was so awesome. Like you were so embedded in so many communities, like just guild wise, but it just broke apart. That's when I that's when I left, man. I went to PvP like fully. I was like, I need, like everyone's left our server because they just want all the loot, and then I was like, about loot again. No. To happen, and this, it's, I mean, that's when it goes tits up for me, really. What I don't like currently about the server pride because I, I feel that it still exists. Because I, yeah, there's someone yeah, out there like, still I, proud I, okay, to I be recently, I recently transferred. <laughs> Man, I recently transferred. Okay, like I've been, I used to to be on Gandara for a very long time. Like I, I went why, to Gandara so, because why did you my transfer? why did you transfer? my friends my friends used to be on Gandara, but then they stopped playing the game, and I used to do All a bit right. of World vs World with them, and then I realized I didn't touch World vs World for years because I didn't have yeah. anyone to do it with, and then I was just like. Like, I had friends. Most of my friends are in desolation. So I was like, should I make the jump? And I decided to make the jump. And then I got onto their voice chat. And I heard them talking. And there might not be, like, genuine server pride. Like, yeah, we're doing this for our server because we want to win, because we want to be on top. Because we want to prove that we're the best, etc. But... There is server hate. That's pretty. Uh, dude, pretty I was just saying, yeah, yeah, they hate each other. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the second, the second I was there, I they were like, that. oh fucking hell, Gandara, they're gonna dodge the fight again. They're only you fucking, yeah. they dodge every fight. They don't even want to commit to everything. Look, they're running away again, fucking Gandara. And then, then it hits me. These guys, these guys, they're playing their lives in the game mode. This is some serious shit. If they don't mm. cap the objective, they're not gonna wake up to go to work tomorrow. It's crazy shit right there. I don't yeah. know. It's, it, the thing, it, the thing I found when I went to World v World the other day because I'm really excited. I was like, I'm gonna play Garnet. I'm gonna play Firebrand. I got my ascended gear, everything. I got my food, everything. I looked at the build. I was like, okay, I'm gonna play this as a base build. If I need, think I need to change anything else up, I'll do that. I jumped in, and I was just like, okay, I started commanding. I was like, you know, guys, I'm a bit of a noob. I haven't done this for years. Uh, I was trying to do this. It was fun, you know. I had a little bit of fun with that. Then someone else popped on. They started doing that being a commander as well and then it was just like literally cap a tower retreat they cap the tower back then we go somewhere else cap that tower they take it back and i was just like i don't feel like the siege and the warfare was really there i was just like we're just well, taking turns why don't we just sit outside and just well, why, why didn't why didn't you go and why didn't you go get them well you do but then it, but you, you can't like you can't take it back even that it's just I don't no, know. Why don't you go like, kill the player? I don't want to do that yeah, stuff. Like kill I, can't, I can't kill. kill go own. get the kill. Slay. I, wait, I thought you were. Wait. Just kill them. Like... No, no, no. When the other commander came up. Oh, the other commander. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, was, um... I was shouted at for basically trying to just fight people. Yeah, yeah. The. the, the... Okay, right. <laughs> okay. I, I talked about this on stream the what? other day. Okay. But people know, are. People weird. are so lost. People cannot handle losing, right? They cannot take. They're so loss averse, right? You do they, not die in real life, though. No, no, no. Ah, all right, hey, hey. Yeah. Like, that's true. Oh, they, 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 oh my god. Okay, right. They would rather not play than lose, right? Seriously, that that's actually what we're dealing with here. Hey. I mean, I know about that from PvP for sure. Like, yeah, understand that. Not for myself because I don't really care, but. Yeah, it's just uh, the, in, in so instead of taking the risk and maybe getting the higher reward and fun. Of fighting other players, okay. Mm. Instead, what do they do? They just run around in circles, like standing in circles, like hitting a champion that doesn't do anything. It's rubbish, okay. Seriously, like World vs. All right, and I, I, I saw some people talking about this in map chat the other in map chat on my server, which is Whiteside Ridge right now. Mistake, it was boring server. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, or well, maybe it's just dead right now. I don't know. Time but to Underworld. It's uh, time to come back to Underworld, but. They they were talking about how like you know world versus world how world versus world should be played right and they were saying stuff like ah you know world versus world it's not about fighting 
It's about capturing things and holding on to. It's like, no, that's boring. No one likes that. Okay. <laughs> the thing, the thing is, is that like, I, let's go I kill agree, people. But the thing is, is that when when you take a when you have this battle, when you're actually in, you know, a, a siege for mm. like a keep for a tower, it should just be more epic. Like, I mean, you, the opportunity to fight is good as well like it's definitely something like that's the fun thing but the thing is is that sieging should be made more fun because that's kind of what world we world is about as well and it did used to be um i mean you know i remember german servers you know famous for their flipping you know arrow cart horribleness but like at the end of the day it was still about siege as well and it was about like that gvg you know sitting over near the windmill um in the south side of the map and just bit you know gvging while everyone else is complaining about the population on the map because everyone's gvging at the same time and it's just, <laughs> those days that's hilarious but like you know siege was quite prevalent and it was quite fun now it's like you know you hide the catapult in a dodgy place around the corner you use one you're in the tower and boom that's it and it's like there's no bonus and i was talking about this on my stream like some way that you can give a bonus or like some loot or something for keeping a tower in your favor, like a lot more, like just more. I don't know. I just, I again, and I'm. I don't want to compare too much, but Elder Scrolls, man. I'm telling you, Teapot. If you go into that game and you play some RVR, you'll just be like, "What the fuck?" It is the siege warfare. It's like you're playing fucking Lord of the Rings or some shit. It's epic. And just like, and it's only because there's an event at the moment. But like Ch Camelot Unchained, maybe Crowfall and games like that as well, I think are just going to be crazy in terms of their well, RBR. I, I don't can't know. Wait World versus what is epic it, it, in Guild Wars 2, it, it just doesn't happen. It can be. It just doesn't happen as yeah, much in, in the way that I think is the mm. most fun. I mean, obviously, you no know, fun is subjective. <laughs> it, it's epically not fun. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're, what you're yeah. saying, no, 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 no. No, that's, that's not the point. In <laughs> it is epic. Like, when no. you are with your commander, yeah, are. then he gets really heated up, and he's like, no, 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 go around, go around, follow me, roll on time, go through them, through them, through them, like, destroy them. Like, they're bad. They're just going to well, fighting. Look yeah. at their commander. He's moving back. He's me. fucking kill trash. Him, kill him. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, he's fucking trash. Like, when you've got that one commander who is pumped off, the guy is on fire, and he's just telling yeah. you everything yeah. that you need to do. He wants the LEs to be sitting on the ledge up there and making well, this, sure this... they're going to destroy the enemy as they roll through it the... and get the CC down this is so good yeah. this is the motivation that makes it yeah. happen but for that you need that one commander well you no can feel it. Mm. you can have the hateful type of guy who's gonna be like the other server is trash they're gonna fight behind their siege <laughs> they're garbage they're just gonna run around yeah. run around and see us you have that commander and then you have the one who's just like high on energy and just wants to destroy the enemy zerg and will chase will follow will go for the fight will open their own for their own keep just to make sure that he forces the enemy to react it's true because he wants to cap it you, you just you, you, the you, is, you, you just need like a massive army of motivated players and that does exist but the 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 issue is is that you have to have both sides th having the same mentality almost like your 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 high energy fight lord fight god com commander right like, is really good Right, but the thing is, you need someone with the same attitude on the other side as well. Otherwise, it's not going to yeah. last for very long. That's where the issue comes and that's in. Where, yeah. um, that's where alliance uh, comes in. Actually, yes, exactly. Well. That is exactly where alliance yeah. is coming. Because, and, uh, and that's the answer, yeah. isn't it? Like, but that is that is that is. Yeah. If that fails, that's. I know it might sound harsh, but that's the death of World of the World, isn't it? If alliance, if alliances fails massively, is that the death of World of World? Uh, no, I, I kind of, I, I kind of feel that alliances are actually kind of a, a no lose situation. Like if it fucks up, nothing yeah, changes yeah. at all, and it but will it, probably it, be it identical. It's a little bit better than. Well, not really. Honestly, um, it, it, fails. it will be identical if it fails. I think it will just be identical. And yeah, I, I do. I, I think you'll basically end up with the same thing because a lot of the servers kind of know each other, especially the long-term veterans. They they're all in the same guilds. They all know each other. They're mm -hmm. friends. They enjoy playing with each other. They you know they they they, they chill all the time. So what's going to happen is that you'll see the servers kind of rearrange themselves as guilds. Um, yeah. If they do split up, I think that will be very good. Um, because that's going to do that. Will, 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 well, will they do that will depend on how rewarding it is to do that and if it's fun to do that and yeah, how yeah. easy it is to do <laughs> that. Which one's above which? Well, uh, no, but no. Right. I mean, 
but when, when it comes to but uh, yeah i think alliances are very low risk actually in terms of world versus world i i think the worst case scenario is nothing happens the best case scenario is that the game is fucking big arena hard focuses on it instead of print it okay they print okay an r okay promo but it's like it's a picture of, of a of a commander like yelling really loudly. Okay, that's the R. Right? It's a, so it's a very different kind of R. Like that I can get behind. That we can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. They so, just need to hype it up, honestly. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lately, what they're hyping us is usually like the living story and stuff. And I kind of don't like that they hype up the things by just a screenshot or something. Like Wing Five was just you gotta, teased with one screenshot. Yeah, but that's man, it. come on, you gotta. You gotta say the teasers we had for the last living story were good. Yeah, yeah, the I'm not saying they're bad. Dope. It's I just want them more. I yeah, like they're they're true. I want all the hype, and I can't go you know, like the last any like what was what was a part of any trailer was basically back in HOT with uh, the Desert Borderland, which flopped. So uh, getting more attention to it would be just better, in my opinion. And just generally more ads, more stuff. And this is the opportunity with the alliances. Just if you want to hype it up, then you better do it and start doing it very soon as well. Mm, yeah. The thing is, knowing knowing Aaron and Ed and their development cycle and the issues that they have stumbling on something that they need to adapt or to create from scratch to make sure that it fits well into the game, they can't they can't simply go and hype something when they're unsure that they're going to be able to release it at a specific date. Like, look at the Living Story releases. They were late on it. Like, I'm pretty sure that they got some issues with the mount making or some other stuff that just delayed them. And if they Is that the only... Build... How many late ones have there been, though? Has it been a Twice? lot? I mean, which... And then the it's like... were late. Well, I would, know about would one you guys content... mind? About Which that, is though. still being delivered. It's called Gen 2 Legendaries. They were hyped <laughs> at the beginning. And there's well, still they, they said they're not doing that no. anymore. They, they said yeah, they're not. But like, the, the thing is, when, when they have to make something from scratch, when they're unsure they're going to be able to deliver, why would they start hyping it up? Because that's shooting yourself in the foot. The worst thing you can do as a marketer, or if you're into advertisement, is to say, hey, guys, we've got this massively incredible thing, and it's going to come out. And then people are going to be like, okay, hype. People start playing the game. People are in here. People are waiting. Nothing happens. And then people leave. And they won't come back when it's really out. Because they would have already exhausted all of the hype they could get. They won't have it anymore within them. The thing, the can, thing is about that. You can see that with the cycle of development of some Kickstarter and stuff like this. Like, I, I saw a lot of yeah, Kickstarter yeah. for awesome stuff. And I was like, oh my God, this is so good. I should put like $10 for it so that I get yeah. something at the end when it's released. And then they're like, when you're in, shit, that's not here. Two years in, shit, man, I'm going to get a refund. Three years in, ah, pff, I did well to get my refund. Shit's still not out. And I, I mean, can't deliver. You have, on time you have to be. Sure. I mean, it, in terms of like the marketing and stuff you're talking about, it's like. And you can never is the marketing has to go through someone like like it, everything has to be approved by someone. So Probably. the answer for all, all those questions about marketing and everything else, and like I've, I think I hear a lot of a thing I I hear I a, a lot of the time is that you know the marketing is to blame and all this kind of stuff, and I'm like, no, it's not. So. It's it's no. the it's the it's the people at the top who don't approve because I guarantee you. Because these are the same people who had their ideas pre-hot. It's a lot of the people are still there. Okay, a lot of the people aren't still there, but they've got ideas and they've got good plans and ideas. But I think I just think they literally get stifled uh, from like a higher level. And like you know, that's probably not the greatest thing in the world for me to say, but I think it's the truth. Um, and you know, I mean, hopefully the you know, I mean, ever since ever since you know that whole word of mouth thing i saw on reddit and all that kind of stuff like advertising the game like in our community is just not enough and all that kind of stuff just doesn't wash in 2018 you know so oh man i think like the amount of hate the amount of hate yeah i really really don't like it because i i don't know well, when the content is ready, just release the trailer. That's precisely what they're doing now, essentially. Yeah. Like when it's ready, they, the trailer. They they did not get a specific like date or something, or maybe no. here. 
in the alliances. So they have, well, it can be next year. And technically, 31st of December is also next year, like if we take yeah. the next year. So they can just release it, you know, day before the new year and still it's in the window. The thing but, is, the cadence, the whole cadence of like, um, like saying things like every three months is very dangerous as well. Um, games have done it in the past. Like MOBA Paragon used to release a hero, a new hero every three weeks. And if it wasn't there, people would just get so angry. And the only reason they got angry is because they said that it was going to be there every three weeks, you know? And it's like, it's the same oh. reason people got angry about the story yeah. as well, to it, a degree. It's it, like... Uh, well, I, well, well, I mean, I that know. attitude, though, like, surely, isn't it, isn't it the game company's job to take that kind of heat? Are they really that sensitive? And, and, and this, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but the players are. <laughs> right. Okay, right, no, right. 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 So, right. look, okay... Right. Look, so when, if, if when I'm reading it, make a promise, right? When they used to make promises, okay? Yeah. And then people got really mad, right? Yeah. Isn't it... it does, for a start, it's obviously a vocal minority. Right? Most people are like, oh, yeah, you know, something's gone wrong, obviously, blah, 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 blah. Okay? But uh, surely, surely, like the, you know, big game company, like, you know, big boys like ArenaNet, okay? The big boys and girls like ArenaNet can handle some people saying some slightly mean words, right? Uh, <laughs> Depends right. who you are, Tony. At least take the criticism, right? <laughs> Not anymore, really? Sam. Um, yeah. <laughs> but like, I mean, there's there's the big things about like more than ever, like with social media, you start to understand, especially like how developers do feel about being criticised and everything. Nowadays, more than ever, like you understand that really, like actually, they're just like we're all normal people that don't like criticism and shit, you know. Like no, no one likes I, that, and that's fair. Yeah, no, no, and and hey, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I that. Take all the shit we throw at you and enjoy it. I know, absolutely not. Like, it, <laughs> it, 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 it's 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 not nice. It's not nice when some, someone criticizes something you've done. Okay, you know when you get that YouTube comment on the video says, you know what, this tea time, part and this tea time right. is trash. Right, your tea right. time sucks. You're garbage. Yeah, but we'll make right? it better next time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that you know what? People like, why have I got Jibber on here right now? <laughs> no, <laughs> that, you're not gonna be the. <laughs> it's a, yeah. yeah, it's it's not nice. You're safe. But uh, you know, you're you're big games coming. There's plenty of people who do love the game, right? And I yeah. I'd like to think that if you watch my stream, you you do kind of get the idea that I do love that. I'm a, I'm a community that does love the well, game. It re really oh, feels passionate. You wouldn't play the game the if game. you didn't yeah. like it, right? So. The only you other wouldn't game force is, yourself it's, through it's this. Better right? is yeah. so, Conqueror. It, that's the only dude. They world versus world. They add RTS components to that. They add prism tanks. Okay, Mirai no, never mind. No, okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> that or they put it on mobile oh, phone. Right? Right. They, they, they get a cell phone game of Command right? and Conquer. Imagine that. But yeah, exactly. This is a, a big thing, Benji. And, and honestly, I I don't know. I even even some really prominent world versus world people were kind of were were um, guilty of this, like shitting on the gliding before they even knew it happened. And then they actually kind of liked it, right? It's um, I don't know. It's a uh, it, it's a little it's a little sad. Uh, but yeah, people do shit on the game. It's true. But there are a lot of people who really love the game, right? Really love the game. You know what I mean? And uh, I think that that should be surely that the players who love the game should be rewarded well, the, inst instead yeah. of just punishing everyone because some guys are dicks, right? Guys, okay, we're on the internet. People are fucking assholes here, okay? You're anonymous, mm. you can say whatever you want and get away with it, all right? I mean, that, that, that's what it is, right? So I'm afraid, yeah, there's gonna be some people saying some mean words, but I don't know, I feel All like- I feel, words. I feel like ArenaNet can handle it and-, and I mean, the reason we're here right now is because we enjoy the game. We like the yeah. game. I mean, yeah, us, we support it, and we wouldn't be here if we didn't like the game, right? Yeah, so exactly. It's a pretty good game. There's no weary stares here, guys. Bad. Come on, please. Come on. What, 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 what are you guys saying here? No, I don't know. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah, sub goal. Like... All right, okay, right now, guys. Right, Jebro. Okay, right. My chat keeps exposing me about this. I said that I was gonna go. I I, I said I was gonna go full oh Jebro. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> and they interpreted this as like me shaving my head. Okay. I did not say that. Okay. I did not. Wait. What happened? What? what? No. Yeah. <laughs> what? They're claiming that I said I was gonna shave my head. Right. Okay. All right. But I but never no, mind. Why? Because I said I was gonna go full Jebro, dude. Okay, but never mind. Oh. Because because I said me. It's full Jebro because, dude. 
Okay, you do like giveaways every four subs. I have no idea how you even have Five. money left. Seriously. Five. Okay. Five. Right. Five. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So, and, so I said, broke, you know, bro. that I would trigger the giveaway when I got some subs. Right. So it's, you know, I go and get. The thing is, is that any any gifts I get from a, whether or not it's Arena Net or people, I never use. I never use anything myself. I never use no. anything. So wow. I never have. So you're I just, I just something it all. else. Yeah, I just I just keep it for people. Yeah, you keep the hair. Doesn't mean I get. It. I mean, you know, I don't <laughs> always hit those goals. Incentive, like I don't, I don't know. Yeah, well, I trade in my gold for shit. Yeah, yeah. pretty easy yeah. to do. You've got shit loads of gold. You could give away a mount license every yeah. three subs. Well, yeah, that's trade true. in for Team gold. Do Why it. don't you? I would finally watch you, Team. I couldn't. Whoa! Yeah. Just Whoa! Pay me to be, pay me to be your <laughs> piece of shit. Your like business partner. I'm, I don't know. I love I, you, Team. Right, I'm, kick, I'm kicking you from delusional leader, <laughs> Sam. Get the fuck out. Man, yeah. I <laughs> I mean, everyone, I mean, a Teapot, I mean, Teapot spent, how much gold did he spend on, on the, the thing? He didn't get nothing. Could have spent it on gems for his chat, just say it. It's true, I spent all those black guy and keys, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what I do. That's I'm what a I do. I'm a member of the chat, I, I want some giveaway. Like, no, but seriously, that's what I do. I just don't spend anything on myself. I don't. I'm actually getting exposed right now. I'm actually yeah. getting exposed, <laughs> god damn it. Well, it, you better it, do giveaway just now. Just a little bit, mate, unfortunately. <laughs> Look at the bright side, Teapot. Like you get you get enough subs to actually be able to do giveaway very often if you put a three go sub goal each time, like three new subs a giveaway. But the thing is, look guys, 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 look, guys. look at me. I guys, put guys. I put as a goal to give away a legendary years back at 5k followers, and then I didn't stream for so long that I didn't get the followers. And it took me two years something to reach the 5k and give away the legendary. Yeah, but you do you, realize that. The giveaways, to, like giveaway goals and stuff like that, don't make successful streams at all. Like they don't. It's all about your community. It's yeah. all about your community. It's like that's just a side thing. Like people don't watch me because of the giveaways. <laughs> people don't watch. That like, if people had giveaways, they wouldn't give a shit. They'd just be like, "Oh, that's cool." It doesn't. You don't keep people that way. That's why you get 400, 500 viewers a day on Guild Wars Two because your stream is good. You have good production quality. Wow. You have good people. Well, you know, you got content. You, oh, okay. content. you don't need that. Got that content. And you know, I was being nice there. Yeah. <laughs> Please. It's true. All right. I'm always I'll nice redeem yourself by doing a giveaway. Cool. Okay. We're giving away Plenix. Okay. Oh, guys. Yes. <laughs> I'm not entering that one. Nope. Giving away Plenix. Yeah. Okay, well, guys. Yeah. If you win this giveaway, Plenix will be your slave for an entire day. He'll know. He'll create you. He'll create instant. Honestly, I'm in. I'm, I'm in. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever content you want to do with me, I will do with you. Oh. Unless uh, yeah. you have to be on you though. So, How much yeah. do you? Yeah. Great. Okay, Any so there we go. Any content that people want to do with you, you'll do with uh, them. Man. ERP! Like game, right. Yeah. Right? How much do you have to pay for that? Yeah. What are your rates, Plenty? <laughs> Wait, what, what am I? What? I've been, your I'm rates. Sure getting this. Your rates. Rates? Yeah. Well, I, I only plug with? essentially lately, so horrible, of course. Oh, boy. Well. But, um, yeah. So is the low rate, everyone? Well, I did <laughs> training rates today. We, we were like, oh, yeah, we, we, oh, have you seen mechanics of Belgard? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I've seen some videos and yeah, I've seen some mechanics. Uh, you know, I tried this sometimes. I'm technically telling the truth, right? Like, it's alright. Yeah. And Lennox. then we have like three stop voices. Lennox. With people. I think he's <laughs> missed the point. For what you're I knew, I knew my enough. English pronunciation was horrible as a Frenchman, but right now you're hurting my feelings massively. <laughs> oh, did you never, say? Never, uh, never had this. I didn't say rates. It said rates. 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 Rate. Rate. As in price. Rates. As in oh. price. Oh. We're trying to normal human being. <laughs> It's turning into an innocent oh, conversation. Oh, man. I'm Time to get my Lego guys. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> the P in ERP <laughs> stands for Plenix. Yeah. That, <laughs> Holy I can shit. agree with that. As he's exposed. He's actually exposed. <sighs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Great. Anyway, oh, take a, you gotta bring it around. Back to, you're back to the old full circle memes, boys. But, um, yeah. More, more content in the game. That's what we need. No. No, that's not what we need, okay? Great, guys. All Don't leave. It's not more right. content. It's like yeah. relevant. Relevant content for all the players. Boom, here's the Lego. I love Lego. Feels good, man. Okay. Yeah.
that's one I have like four different like bags of Lego as well downstairs. Damn. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I don't want the so, game to die. ArenaNet, please don't let the game die. Yeah. Right? Release Guild Wars 3, go. Right, guys. Right. ArenaNet, I know oh. you want to- I, I hope you do do Guild Wars 3. I will play it, and it better not be a mobile game. I don't want you- don't, don't, don't go all Command and Conquer on me, dude. Yay! Right. Okay? I'm wow. ready. My phone is ready. Okay, if you- if you- if- right. I'm just gonna say this, ArenaNet. If you make Guild Wars 3 a mobile game... I'll find you. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, don't I've had it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Have you played it though? It's really good. No, no, I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> yeah. You haven't even played the Command and Conquer mobile <laughs> game, and you of, didn't. Of course, it looks shit. What? It's you a fucking mobile it game. If it's you, bad. Yes, you can. Oh, you cannot. There can are have, good mobile there, games. Come there are on, good man. mobile games, but there are no oh, good mobile man. RTS games. Candy Crush. Um, yeah, that is, RT, that is not that's an not RTS. That is not an RTS game. Yeah, <laughs> that's not an RTS. Game. I don't know. I just made up the name. Like um, the best, <laughs> the best mobile games anyway, based on having to pay for the content, like hazard yeah, game, more, or chance games, about. like. That, I wouldn't want uh, a Guild Wars 2 mobile game or a Guild Wars 3 mobile game because it would just be about opening Black Lion chests yeah, but on mobile. <laughs> and I wouldn't want that. Like, the no, moment you start either. going mobile, it'd be so easy. Like, you're literally just a click away of making it all about microtransactions, and that's not okay because Rift Google Wallet. did that. Um, Actually, Rift back in the day did have they had mobile apps, but they were designed and developed by players. But um, actually, Rift had like one as well where you would. It was just about daily crafting or something like you could get crafting bags by clicking on something, and you just got a little bit. You know, it's just a little bit more interactive. You know, it's like oh, I'm still attached to the game, and they had guild chat on cell phones as well. You know, so you could still talk to your guild and shit. It was actually pretty good. I don't think Guild Wars said. Guild Wars Economy Simulator. I, I'd play that one. Yeah, you can have the trading post on your phone. Yeah, well, I mean, like, like you used, stocks of you used to company. be able to you used to be able to put by orders by doing some stuff on the API. If I, oh. if I, if I, oh, if I really? remember correctly. Ooh, you know. I imagine that's very that's a bot fiesta though. Surely, right? Yeah, that, that would be like. Yeah. Yeah, but that that was like a, the the reason. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's certainly what I think the mobile when when the mobile app does eventually come out because it's kind of in a long time coming, right? Um, I imagine it will be something like that. Maybe Guild Chat, or maybe yeah, like okay, but it's, it's doable. I you know what would be good for the game? And this will be good for Guild Wars Two. I actually think this will be really good for Guild Wars Two. I, I kind of suspect they're going to go to a bit Warlords of Drenner on us, man. Okay, we're talking garrisons, boys. Okay, <laughs> they're going to put garrisons in Guild Wars Two. Didn't they get rid of garrisons? garrisons? Isn't it called Guild Hall? Yeah, then, didn't they get rid of garrisons in WoW? Uh, well, I mean, it's, they're not relevant That's anymore. Right? Still but there, but yeah, they got rid of as used. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah. they're gonna do oh, it. Maybe not though. <laughs> <laughs> What's Garrison? That's Did it work? It, it's uh, it's What's basically normal? it's World of Okay. Are you familiar oh. with Farmville? <laughs> <laughs> no, like not, not even not even my stepmom plays that game, man. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I, what's a, someone give me a good equivalent, like, what is it? Uh, it, it Stardew it, Valley? I don't know. I, I don't know, like, you, you play the game without even playing the game, right? So You they, can send people out to, oh, like, yeah. like, like, stuff, right? Like BDO, then, you play the game without playing the game. It, you just set up uh, your character to do the stuff. Uh, I guess it's a bit like that, I right? mean, actually, in a way, but in the open world, that is. But you have, you have your own base, right, and you send people out, and you can, like, upgrade... Oh your army and shit like that as well and you can send them out to farm for shit and it's it's like a yeah i played some shitty browser games like that like ages (laughs) sounds like no i'm not having it Mm. i don't know i think it'll be really good uh we've i think that will be very popular actually the app you kind of play you know get the game out there it plays itself and you send out your you send out members of divinity oh sorry uh, destiny's edge 2 you send them out to go and do, you, you send Timey out to do a mission for you and she brings you back she dies. A, two greens and a blue or something <laughs> like, you know what? two Whoa. greens and blue out <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> then you it's re- all right you always revive and then you resurrect her cuz it's okay and it cuz thing oh, oh my right. god <laughs> <laughs> okay. i don't care i don't mind timey she's like that yeah. Wow. Most characters in Tybee. 
Yeah, but that's fair. Uh, oh, a bit of a bit of a weird tangent there, but yeah, yeah, that's that's, <laughs> that's what I think it's going to happen with the mobile app. That still hasn't happened yet. Um, but I don't know. Do we have anything else to really talk about? I don't think we really do. I'm afraid that is that, that's all there I mean, is. It's been two hours. I've got oh. to go stream to Guild Wars One. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Guild Wars. Okay, a game with content. What, a game with wow. with exciting content, dude. Okay. I uh, never played it. I didn't know what it was about, man. So yeah. I was like expecting it to just be like an MMO, normal MMO. And then I was like excited for this, like like where I couldn't jump and stuff. And I was like, what do I do if I don't jump? What do I actually do? And then I started playing it. I, I'm pretty addicted to it, actually. It's really hot. It's actually very, very good. Yeah, it's a very good game. Um, yeah, it's, it plays a bit like a single player RPG sometimes, which is pretty, pretty much. Actually. Yeah, I was, I was like... This doesn't feel like an MMO at all. And then when I went to the other areas, um, I was just like, okay, I feel it now. But I'm trying to get to PvP at some point, but I'm just working through them all. I'm on the first one at the moment. I'm just mm. like, apparently that's the longest, longest one. Yeah, Prophecies is pretty uh, long. Story. Pretty, yeah, pretty good yeah, size yeah. to it. Okay. I'm, but I'm enjoying nice. like the story and like it's interesting as a as a Guild Wars 2 player first to go through Guild Wars afterwards because you're like Oh, there's this character. Like I just found, like they were just talking about Saul as well, and I was literally just doing like demos the other day, and it was like, Whoa. okay, that's cool. Whoa! I get to find out all about this now and about why he, yeah. you know, is, is in prison. You can play the bonus yeah. mission packs as well, actually. If you if you get to that, you can play through the bonus. You can actually play as Saul. You can be Saul. Really? Yes. Yes. That's pretty no cool. way! Oh, that's awesome. one, yeah, There's you... also a quest where you basically do the Lazarus stuff as well. So that was really? a part of living mm -hmm. story as well. Yes. Yeah. That way, that's um, game, that's in Eye of the North, right, Plenix? I believe. Well, yeah, it's not prophecies. Yeah, but... yeah I think. Yeah, you do it for a yeah for an, for another Mercer. Yeah, it, will, it, will, it has. I think it is. Yeah, you definitely have a Sura there. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Eye of the I North. just accidentally and i met ogden i was like oh my god <laughs> he's not a rock <laughs> he's not stone yet so. i was just like playing his song as yeah. well i was just like this is fucking awesome <laughs> i just met my first nor never first Asura ever and i was like this is pretty cool and then i was starting to use like um because i didn't realize how much the abilities carried over from guild wars to guild wars 2 like i just didn't know because i never played the game so starting to use wells and stuff, and I was like, you know, I need a dead corpse to create a well on Necro, and I was like, this is really fucking cool. And then getting to some of the mobs later in the game and realizing that the game actually doesn't look... I mean, how old is Guild Wars? It's, well, it's 2005, I believe. I mean, that's a long or it's 2000, time. Or is it 2000, yeah, it's 2005, 2006, it's or something like that. Jesus yeah. Christ. And it, it looks like... I mean, it doesn't look horribly dated. It's oh, like, it's well, wasn't it like bad. updated a little bit just to like improve? I think it was more like, um, wasn't it view distance? Yeah, they like they that, like, I, they yeah. changed something with the the way that I think sh they buffed the shadows as well or something. It yeah. made the shadow rendering a bit better, and they they made it so you can have like crazy render distance. The game, the game. I mean, yeah. I mean, just bear in mind, guys, it is ba it's like a modified version. Guild Wars Two is a modified version of mm. Guild Wars One. Just consider that, right? So of course it's going to look pretty because Guild Wars Two looks really pretty. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Guild Wars One looks great. Actually, it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, of course, it is. Um, it's enabled to do that because it doesn't have to deal with as many players at once, right? Or as many entities, or of a third course, dimension, yeah. really. Uh, so, like, yeah. it, it, they have some some leeway. Does in it that, right? does it also have the water under the maps? Because like that's one thing that kills in Gilders too. Like having like these huge bodies of water under the maps that that exists and sometimes gets rendered uh, destroys the performance. Gil Gilders one Gilders one is not really that. Um, Three, oh, di you, three dimensional, right? Yeah. So, but okay. I think can't they can. The water, so yeah, yeah, you can't even go anywhere near it. So, I think they can have water wherever they like. I'm not sure though, actually, about that. Okay. Yeah. I can't think of it. In Guild Wars 2, <sighs> that takes a toll. Yeah, you want water on multiple levels? That's good. No, I mean, oh, no, no, no. Please hovering no, in like the air. <laughs> Water's in the air. Just out of nowhere. Yeah, it'll be good. Please. I mean, good. I I heard like uh, about Guild Wars as well. It's like DJ Wheat, the big the big man at Twitch. He used to shoutcast PvP in Guild Wars. Apparently. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I was, uh, people were telling me the other day, I was like, seriously? Like, there's some big wigs, like, in, like, major developers as well that, that work for, like, Riot and stuff that used to play PvP in Guild Wars. Like, there's some yeah. massive people out there in the gaming industry that used to play and, like, cast and 
you know love like love this original game and i'm starting to realize why you know it's it's old but i'm just enjoying it like the story is really good it's really engaging um some of the voice acting is a bit dodgy <laughs> but you know oh, um, it, it's an old game like, exactly yeah, yeah i yeah. think it's uh, but by the time it was basically superb and i still mm. think if you're burned out on guild wars you like that you really play every single day and stuff like just take right and go into guild wars one instead for a while can just change your view mm. and you will meet as you Met like Ogden and stuff. You meet the characters you either read or heard about in Guild Wars 2. In Guild Wars 1, the essentially the every NPC from let's say a Scalonian Catacombs when you do the Scalonian Catacombs that. story. I just did that, yeah. Uh, in Guild Wars 2, you mm. you can meet them in Guild Wars 1 pre-searing Ascalon. Mm. You can talk to them. They're just Nente, Raylena, Vassar, all of them are there. It's it's a nice throwback. Um, I like it because of the connection between the two games, and it's it's a unique kind of like a feel to it. It's uh, really good. Yeah, I, yeah. I literally just did that actually the the Ascalon stuff. So like I've just, I yeah. just I'm not going to spoil it if anyone wants to go play it. But yeah, like seeing the king and everyone, and the people like well you know what happened anyway. But yeah, well, I'm not going to spoil it. But it's uh, really everyone good. Everyone goes to Kano's, you know what happened. Yeah, yeah, it's very it's, much, it's, uh, very much an game. interesting, very much an interesting game. Um, it is, you know, you know how people say stuff is unique. Guild Wars One actually is unique. It's a really special, uh, cool, different. cool, different approach to the MMO, MMO yeah. genre. Sheen. really, really worth a, really worth a look. And you know what? That's a positive way to end, guys. Don't play Guild Wars sure. Two. Play Guild Wars One. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm going to play that now. Anyway, I'm going to play that now. Anyway. I, I just like. I love that you can combine. Like, I mean, I, I made a mistake with the the duo classes I created. Like, I was just like, let's just do some random shit. I just put Necro with Ranger. Uh, I can swap it. Immediately. Can swap it later. I can swap it later. Yeah. But I immediately regretted it. And I was just carrying a pet around with me, but now I've just got full necro. Um, I am going to swap it. I don't think I can swap it. Yeah. Yes. Essentially, Guild Wars 1 is like RPG with online elements. Yeah, so, yeah. Someone said they market it as co-op RPG. Yeah, like, like by, by then, today's standard, yeah, it would be considered as an MMO. Uh, but yeah, like co-op RPG was not, was not like that popular back in mm. the day, so... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember ever really hearing it much. Yeah. I think like people are talking about it in my chat and just saying, you know, there were people in WoW like hated Guild Wars and there were people in Guild Wars that hated WoW and all that stuff yeah. and rival. They are a little and different. Like, yeah, it's, it's always it's rivalry. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's a sad in- thing. It's a sad thing about any game community. I, I think the best example of this is um, like Dota versus League. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, everyone who plays League hates Dota. Everyone who plays Dota hate League. It's a piece of trash pleb game. Back right? in the day, Heroes I, I play both. Yeah. I like them both. I, don't yeah. I know. Yeah, I like them both too. Yeah, I, I think they're both great. But As know, long as we yeah, all hate Smite, right. it's fine. Yeah. Well- <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. why Smite came in, just equalize Smite is where you go if Guild Wars 2 isn't working out for you. And then Battle Right after that, you know? Okay. Mm. So it's like the, the chain and meme. And then Rem Royale. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just joking and memeing around, guy. Right. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, wow, what a what an interesting conversation has happened here, guys. Um, that, that really is quite something. But yeah. Uh, I really hope that Guild Wars 2 perseveres in the same way that Guild Wars 1 has. I think, what, yeah, I, I, to kind of bring in the worst case scenario, I think there will always be the Guild Wars 2 loyalists. I mean, even if even if the game crashes and burns, I'll still be here at the the helm, say, yeah. helm with a ship <laughs> going down. I'm going down with the ship. But no, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, even if the game eventually closed down, I will still remember the moments I had and basically... Kind of was was a part of my life. I finished high school with it. I almost finished uni with it as well recently. So yeah, it, it's it's a part of my life. It's, oh god, I will yeah, still remember it, sure. despite like the bad things that happened to it or something which yeah. just didn't go well. But I will still remember it in a good way. 
and that's yeah. 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 I don't think the bad things are even that bad, honestly. I, they just seem, yeah. but they just seem bad because of how good things are most of the time. And yeah, yeah. Guild Wars Two is is so really good. This is this is a sentiment that I, I think I I always try to express on Tea Time, and whenever we kind of criticize well, the game. Most- I, I try to remind people that the only reason we complain about the game is because we like it so much and we and we yeah. want to see it do well. Someone was talking in chat about how Guild Wars Two could have been uh, should have been the WoW killer. Like nothing is going to kill WoW, but I, I do yeah. genuinely believe that that Guild Wars Two should have been bigger than it was, and I think in an, in another universe it it might have been as well. And and honestly, it can be this one. Like if um if ArenaNet can kind of get get some work done like that we've been seeing some good things and if they can keep that up then yeah honestly guild wars 2 can make it back onto the map i think that the the way the community is going right now is very good i think we are actually seeing an overall um increase in the awareness like people actually know about the game that's obviously external events have happened okay that have maybe assisted with that a little bit uh but still no i think arena is doing good work and and (laughs) yeah we just the answer is drama apparently yeah 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 well, not only drama, though. Like, but what? But like, failed I mean, game launches are also yeah. contributing. Yeah, to well, yeah. But what happens to like? Is Peon still playing like Guild Wars Two? Yeah, yeah, he plays World vs. World. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Does he stream it? Is he still like active about? Uh, well, I mean, it, this, when it comes when it comes to streaming, right? He, he uh, he's. He doesn't really stream that much. Right? It, it, he's not. Right. He's more of a YouTube guy. You know, he's the YouTube lord. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's where you're going to see that. And, and again, he he doesn't. F- well, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to talk about talk about people, right? That's not really my thing, you know. But yeah, no, like, that's yeah, yeah, he, he's more of a variety guy, right? So you're not going to yeah, see right. the same thing. He does. he covers a lot of games and and plays games mm. for fun, right? As a, as a you know. Um, and so yeah, there you go. That's, that's with that, right? <laughs> As opposed to us, who don't, who hate fun, and we only play it just to inflict suffering on ourselves and our viewers. Okay. <laughs> like I, I just spread the pain. Yeah. I, I'm just. I just want to go back to uh, on something that someone said in uh, in the chat. Like they needed wagon and stuff like. I don't know about other MMOs as much, but I think that the the team of like the community management in Gors to are trying hard to push content creators forward. Like content creators get yeah. help, they get exposure, they get some mm. some value added by the community management team trying to put them in the spotlight. And that's also pretty good. And like the fact that we get a lot of art and stuff is because a lot of people are enjoying drawing about Guild Wars 2 making art for the game like you've got all the fashion you've got all the reasons to create art around it and maybe less actual content that is more like a raids pvp water sword or whatever yeah Yeah. that's that's one thing just wanted to answer the chat because it doesn't feel fair when people say oh the only thing we see from the gear wars 2 team uh, on the social media is arts and quagians it might seem that way but actually and 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 absolutely take it take it from me like if you if you want to access this stuff you can go ahead and get it right like, yeah. um if if you want it you can get it right if you want some promotion if you want to retweet like the access is there uh, you just got to make sure you're on time otherwise you're going to end up like the raid tournament um and then you're going to be <laughs> cucked and fucked uh yeah and Guild Gu- well, Wars 2 does have a lot of untapped potential in my opinion yeah what you got well, Alex? At least it had a good pre-show right so. yeah exactly had the- chef planets when is next cooking stream it was like a week and a half ago. What are you talking about? When is the next cooking stream? I, I don't know. Maybe I will cook some butterworth squash soup. I don't know. No? We'll see. There we go. Cooking Dude, stream with Planix, boys. I to do it, but it's, it's a pain in the ass. Like, I looked into the list of the ingredients, man. Mm. You're going to uh, spend uh, more than your week of growth to get the stuff needed to make one bowl of soup. Uh, I'm, not God. Even, I'm not even kidding you. Like, it's a pain in the ass. I also yeah. wanted to make it, and I think that going for the veggie pizza is like a safer. Pizza. Yeah, that's pretty. That, that's not too bad. Oh. Right? That's not too bad. But anyway, I, I do think I believe it is. Uh, it is time to wrap up a little bit. Uh, some interesting conversations uh, have been had. I, I cannot wait to see which one of us is going to get obliterated in the comment section, guys. Okay. Probably me mentioning other no, games. No. Play- oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, this I mean, Jebro guy. Like, why do you have him on? He's always talking about ESO. I bet it's because he's an. He, he like, talks about once. Yeah, he's a, like, Oh ever. yeah, he's a partner now as well. So. Yeah, yeah he's, he's pretty chill. Quitting, quitting Guild Wars too. Oh dear, he's. Oh. Doesn't create any content. Oh anymore. no. Yeah. Oh dear. That's not true. Oh dear. Like, Exposed. That's what people say. It's funny. Yeah. Like yeah, clinics, we're we're safe this week around. We didn't talk. 
much. Like nobody yeah. is gonna find stuff to nitpick at. <laughs> no. All right. You okay, are, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> They'll be like, well, oh, we'll, <laughs> nice. we'll we will see. Yeah, we will yeah. see. But of course, <laughs> it is time for the uh, you know the ending of the show, and that involves a bit of shilling. So. Let us educate our fine and wonderful viewers about ourselves after we have educated them about the game. Also, hello Brazil, who just arrived. Okay, ghostly infusion in chat. Okay, wow. right, let's go. Plenix, you are the chef, the Lego man. Okay, chef. the Lego well, chef. What's up with you these have, days? Do you have any Lego hair for me? I mean... Uh, well, I, I can't. <laughs> I, I explained several stuff in Lego. The next sub goal is also Lego. Yeah, a lot of content planned ahead if ever that comes. But yeah, um, I'm mostly active on Twitch. I do upload stuff from the stuff I do on my Twitch channel to my YouTube channel, so you can go visit both. But mainly, I stream on Twitch. I mostly do pugging raids and. Well, sometimes I try to have fun while doing it, so mm. I kind of help the training runs as well, uh, just explaining some stuff and generally trying to have fun in the game. And yeah, that's that's me essentially. All right, well that's good. Moving on to the other side, we have okay, it's Jabro. Okay, all, the all man. The sellout C word. Apparently. Yeah, the full. He is a sellout. Angry about cuck. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> right, that's what he is. He is Jebro, yeah. he is known for the boulderthons, okay? <laughs> PvP, okay, no hair, Holosmith, big memes, raiding, everything. It's Jebro, what's going on? Just follow my Twitch channel, because otherwise, <laughs> no. apparently I'm a seller. <laughs> Well, I you did sell out mid tea time That's already, so yeah, kind of yeah, counts. True, yeah. true, true, true. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I just follow my Twitter. You can follow all the things. It'll probably be in the chat. Um, I'm playing loads of random is. stuff at the moment. I'm playing. I'm trying to find. I want to try and find a new RTS actually. Ooh, you know what? Starcraft. New, new RTS. Red Alert Two. There's a new one for you. <laughs> yeah, but you know I played that game, man. You what? Played that game. But, uh, you so you can't play it again. Okay. You, you, you when when are we doing that duo C and C stream? By the way, I don't know. Yeah, don't I play anything else. <laughs> uh, I would do that. I would play that. I would play Warcraft Three as well. Ooh, that's a great one. It's one of my. It's one of the best games ever, ever. Okay. All right. You know. And then finally, follow yeah, follow, follow, subscribe, do it. That's it. And then we have the mo you know, the most strongly accented and handsome market manipulator. It is, of course, <laughs> Scam Ajeste. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm Sam. I'm uh, not that active on Twitch as of lately because. Barely find time for streams, but I've been doing stuff on YouTube. I've been trying to explain core aspects of the game. I've been trying to explain core economy stuff of the game, and I've been trying to branch into droid raid guides. But actually, it's mostly the economy content that uh, carries my channel, so we're going to have more of that as usual. Reviews of the market, uh, some plans to make me rich, like more rich and you less rich, um, or the opposite, mm -hmm. depends on the times. And yeah, mostly that kind of stuff. Probably gonna do some more uh, more vlogging and IRL stuff if I get the occasion ahead of me. But uh, but yeah, you can you can follow on Twitch. You can subscribe on Twitch. You can follow or sub on YouTube. And my Twitter is exactly the same as the Twitch name. If you wanna follow me out there. All right, and of course links below the stream to all of these fine gentlemen. So be sure to check all those guys out. But of course, just as important, if not maybe more. Okay. It's following this stream, guys. Um, it's subscribing yep. to this stream. It's, it's following on Twitter. Subscribing on YouTube. I actually do YouTube now. Okay? That's actually happening. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, people always yeah. roast me about not doing shit. Okay? I actually do something now. Feels good, man. All right? What do you do? Uh, wow, we've got these... Uh, I, I, we've got all these Power Reaper videos. We've got Tequattle World Record. Okay, like the Black Lion Key memes. Okay, we've got hey. Queen's Gauntlet Toriasa all gambits. I watched it. We did it. it. It's there. It's all there. You can get in on that action. I've got some other. I'm gonna try and do some other stuff as well. But yeah, amazing. And get in on those videos. Follow the stream. Subscribe to the stream. Give us that cash, guys. Hit those referral links. Do it. You want to buy an all account? It's Tut Doom Guide. 
Fuck you, Path, that right? Oh my god, no. The Doom. Okay, I did promise the That's Doom Guide. That's true, though. I'm working on the Doom Guide. All right, fine. I'm running All right, away. I didn't let go yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna get roasted if I stay here much longer. So, thank you guys so much <laughs> for watching. Follow the stream, follow everyone here, subscribe to everyone here, come back and watch every Doom. single day. Open tabs for every delusion elitist, of course. And we'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Daily Doom CM. Yeah, we do Doom CM almost every day now. Feels good, man. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you guys later. I'll be back tomorrow. But, you know, I'm sure everyone will be back tomorrow. It'll be great. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.